Chapter 1 Trade System, Endless Trial Advertisement Shanks Hang City A small, unknown city that doesn't even appear in the Hunter comics. Thirteen-year-old Joju walked in the corridor of the orphanage, lowering her head and sweeping the garbage carefully. The broom rubbed against the ground, making a soft sound, and a little dust floated gently as he moved. He is a member of this orphanage, but he is not of this world. Joju originally lived in Blue Star in the 21st century, but one day he suddenly traveled to the world of Hunter, the unfinished Hunter x Hunter by Togashi. His body also strangely changed back to when he was 13 years old. However, although the body is that of a child, the mind is that of a mature adult. He <laughs> he. Joju can only entertain himself in his mind like this. The world of Hunter is not safe. Hunters who master various men, dangerous beasts, five weird disasters, rose bombs mastered by B5, etc. It is very likely that some small incident will turn into a terrible world-ending disaster one day. It's okay if ordinary people don't know this information. But Joju had seen Hunter, and after traveling through time, he felt that every day was like walking on thin ice, and his life was like a candle in the wind. However, Joju did not feel panic. His mood was as calm and peaceful as a flat lake. This is very strange. I should be afraid, but I don't feel any fear at all. Joju himself found it incredible. Perhaps it has something to do with my awakening. He couldn't help but murmur to himself. Advertisement. He stopped sweeping and stood in the corridor. There was nothing around. But if Hunter, who has mastery, uses his condensation to look, he will be surprised to find that Joju's body is surrounded by a layer of pale white gas. This layer of gas is the life energy bound by entanglement, which is chi. When people are alive, they will unconsciously emit their own life energy. This naturally dissipated life energy is called chi. And if you can mobilize these chi and infuse your own will, emotions, thoughts, wishes, etc., to form exclusive abilities, that would be nin. Everyone's nin is different. In the hands of the Hunter Association, the method of training ordinary people into ninjas is held in high secrecy and has not been leaked. Many people don't even know there is such a thing as nian. I have not been trained, but after time traveling, I easily controlled chi like instinct, and awakened mine naturally. Joju leaned on the broom, feeling the chi wrapping around his body, thoughtfully. Perhaps I am also a born nemesis. Ordinary people want to master mindfulness, in addition to practicing awakening, there are two other methods. One is innate, that is, you are born with it, just like a bird can fly or a fish can swim, you can master it from birth. The second is forced awakening. There are three ways to force awakening, being hit by an attack with mind, asking an in to open aura nodes for you, or asking an in with the ability to awaken people's mind for help. And Joju should belong to the first type. He opened the aura nodes naturally, and learned to use Tangle without any guidance, to bind the escaped life energy and wrap it around his body. Then, using Fa without a teacher, he awakened his unique Nen. Endless trial. This is Joju's Nen. Passed the Mizumi type test and belonged to the trade system. When the idea of using Nen comes to his mind, a vague door will appear and stand in front of him. Advertisement. The gate appears to be made of bronze, carved with patterns like branches and dragons, and is green with black in color. The whole thing gives people a heavy, simple, and solid feeling. But there will be no contact with reality, and only Joju can see it. It's time to take the first step. Joju looked down at his hands and said to himself. How can I be willing to travel to the world of Hunter and not learn the powerful Nen and chase all kinds of exciting things? What's more, my heart is also longing for it. From the first time he saw the bronze door, Joju had a strong urge to push it open. It was as if something he had dreamed of was waiting for him behind the door. It's as if opening the door will satisfy your deepest desires. But I don't even know what I'm longing for. Joju shook his head and laughed. He sighed and continued sweeping the floor. This orphanage is not rich and has a serious shortage of manpower. Each child must bear a certain amount of work, otherwise it will be difficult to maintain. Cha, cha, cha. The sound of sweeping the floor started again. Time passed silently. Soon, it was past midnight and it was time for a quiet lunch break. There was only a small piece of bread for lunch, which was still sour. I'm not really hungry at all, but I can continue to live if I eat. Joju finished eating quietly, barely suppressing his restless hunger, and then lay on his bed, with the idea of using an in his mind. All of a sudden, a bronze door appeared silently in front of you. He no longer suppressed the urge to push the door, stretched out his hands, and pressed on the left and right leaves of the bronze door. Advertisement. Uh-huh. The moment he stretched out his hand, the bronze door suddenly solidified. Joju could clearly see the fine lines carved on it, and he could also feel the coldness and hardness of the metal in his hands. Without hesitation, Joju used both hands hard. Crunch. The bronze door made the sound of bearing friction, and a straight line of light appeared in the middle. The left and right door leaves opened inward with the light as the boundary. The next moment, endless white light surged out, flooding Joju like a tide. Well, when Joju came back to his senses, the surrounding environment had changed drastically. He was no longer lying on the dormitory bed in the orphanage, but on a circular platform, about the size of a basketball court. At the edge of the circular platform, there was a gray mist, like thick fog. The entire environment looks like a circular platform surrounded by thick fog, with Joju located in the center. Where is this? Joju looked around in shock, then looked down at himself. The body shape and clothes have not changed. The physical sensation is very real. Have I traveled through time again? When Joju was at a loss, Mingyu suddenly appeared in his mind. The trial begins. Happy reading during the Qingming Festival outing? Recharge 100 and get 500 VIP points? Grab a deposit now. Activity time, April 4th to April 6th. Advertisement. Chapter 2 Come on, let's start fighting. Advertisement. The trial, starts. Joju was even more surprised. He looked around suspiciously, and a bad premonition came over him. Suddenly, his pupils shrank and he looked forward. I saw just ahead, at the edge of the circular platform. A yellow dog with gray and dirty hair emerged from the gray fog and walked into the round platform. The dog's appearance was not good looking at all. It was small and thin, with yellow teeth and a black mouth. It looked like a wild dog begging for food on the roadside. 
The moment he saw the dog, Joju tensed up unconsciously. He was very familiar with this kind of dog. It is a very common native dog in rural areas. It is raised to look after homes and nursing homes. Whenever a stranger passes by, he will let out a ferocious howl, and if he gets a little closer, he will bite like crazy. Joju has been afraid of this kind of local dog since she was a child. Native dogs are different from urban pet dogs. They have extremely violent tempers and will really pounce on people and bite them. It happens from time to time that native dogs bite people to death in rural areas. Ho ho, sure enough, as soon as the native dog stepped onto the round platform, it started to grin, arched its body, and let out a menacing growl at Joju. Joju's heart sank. He immediately felt the hairs on his hair stand on end when he was stared at by this local dog. Kill the enemy and pass the trial before you can exit. Loser. Die. At this moment, various realizations came to mind. It seemed like this was information he already knew, but he was just recalling it now. There is no doubt that this is his nan. Endless trial. Starting a trial means starting a fight to the death. You can't leave until you win. Advertisement. If you lose, it's death. Are you kidding me? Joju's expression turned ugly. Even adults may not be able to kill a vicious native dog, let alone a 13-year-old boy who lacks food and clothing. How could I possibly be craving something like this? Am I crazy and want to die? Ho! Oh, the yellow dog in front was already running towards him with a low growl. The limbs run very fast. Before Joju could react, the dog had already run in front of him, opened its big mouth, and pounced on him. The next moment, his vision was occupied by this dog. He saw and smelled the foul breath, saw the saliva splashing everywhere, and felt the ferocity in the dog's eyes. Joju's face turned pale and her breathing stagnated. In extreme fear, his body was frozen in place. But the weird thing is, his mood was unusually calm, as if there were no ripples on a flat lake. It was as if the whole person was split in two. One half was in the body, wrapped in a strong sense of fear. The other half was deep in the heart, always calm and indifferent. Why am I so calm? Joju even had the time to think about this issue. He even thought he was strange. It was clear that danger was present, but his mind was running on its own. Aren't I afraid of dogs? No, I'm afraid. I have been scared since I was a child, but it's not like I'm really scared. Joju was thinking while controlling his body. His eyes became distant. Calm thinking dominated his body. After observing the position of the dog's bite, he immediately turned his waist and dodged to the right. Uh huh. A yellow shadow passed by him, blood splattered. Advertisement. Although he dodged correctly, his stiff muscles affected his movements. His left waist and left thigh were scratched by the dog's teeth and claws. It left several scars with blood oozing out. Joju stumbled, and after shaking a few times, he regained his balance. This body has no flexibility training. The sudden large-scale dodge caused him to sprain his waist muscles as expected. On one side was a burning abrasion, on the other side was an extremely painful strain. An ordinary person would have fallen to the ground long ago, but Joju remained expressionless and calm. It hurts, it hurts. As a modern person with a fragile body, even a little bit of skin on my knees will hurt for a long time, let alone now, but it doesn't matter, this injury won't kill you. A certain degree of pain can help the body quickly escape from stiffness. Joju was as calm as a robot, analyzing the situation quickly. Ho, oh, another growl came from the side. Joju turned around and looked around, then immediately rolled on the spot. Roar. The next second, the ferocious yellow dog pounced on his original position. Joju has rolled to the side. This time the dodge was perfect. As he analyzed, a certain amount of pain can stimulate the body to regain its ability to move. Woof, woof. The yellow dog was unwilling to give in and continued to pounce on Joju. Joju dodged continuously, rolled, jumped sideways, and turned over. He accurately judged the yellow dog's landing point and made the correct dodge. Ha, ha, ha. After several bites, the yellow dog became panting. Call, call, call. Joju's breathing became heavy and her heart beat as if it was about to jump out. Advertisement. But despite his body being hot, his mind was as cold as ice. I see. He silently looked at the yellow dog in front of him, and suddenly an idea flashed in his mind. In my opinion, native dogs are actually very weak. When they bite me, just a kick or a knee can break their lumbar vertebrae. So, I'm not actually afraid of native dogs. The yellow dog in front of him had a ferocious expression on his face, his nose was trembling, and he looked menacing. But at this time, Joju not only calmed down in his heart, but also in his body. He suddenly understood. What I'm afraid of is the fear and rejection of others after I kill the local dog. What I'm afraid of is exposing my side that is different from ordinary people. Joju suddenly felt enlightened. Many of my weird thoughts and ideas in the past have been perfectly explained. I'm afraid that after the madness, ruthlessness, and ferocity in my heart are exposed, I will no longer be able to stay safely among a group of sheep. Joju stood up, straightened her waist, and burst into laughter. Ha ha ha. I totally get it. Yes, this kind of man is really what I want. He longs to fight, to fight, to transform. Longing for sublimation in the ordinary, longing for never-ending trials. However, the earth without demons in his previous life restricted him. Law and morality suppressed him. All kinds of tangible and invisible shackles restrain Joju, preventing him from being released and having to hide his true self. But it's different now. Now, I am in the exciting world of Hunter. Joju grinned with a bright smile and looked at the yellow dog in front of him. Come on, little puppy, let's see if you bite me to death or I kill you. Happy reading during the Qingming Festival outing? Recharge 100 and get 500 VIP points? Grab a deposit now, activity time, April 4th to April 6th. Advertisement. Chapter 3, Pass the Trial and Swallow the Chi of the Wild Dog. Advertisement. Ho, oh, the yellow dog's throat rolled and he continued to growl. It had a strange feeling that the human in front of it suddenly became dangerous. Apparently the appearance has not changed. The yellow dog's simple thinking cannot come up with the answer. Woof, woof. It barked twice and eagerly pounced on Joju. It had not eaten for too long and it was already hungry. Uh huh. The yellow dog was so fast that it seemed to turn into a flash of light and pounced on Joju instantly. For animals on all fours, their bursts over short distances are extremely astonishing. Even if it is just a native dog, the speed of its bite exceeds the limit of human vision and cannot be seen clearly. Since you can't see clearly, there's no need to look. Joju laughed and opened his hands, as if to welcome him, and even gave up dodging. Pfft. The yellow dog's yellow teeth with foul-smelling saliva bit into his abdomen fiercely. In an instant, the skin was torn open and blood splattered. 
Pain? Severe pain? The soft abdomen was chewed, and the strong pain rushed to his forehead, making Joju tremble all over. His face turned pale, as if he was going to faint from shock. Ha ha ha. But Joju laughed wildly instead, grabbed the yellow dog with his back hand, and clasped the yellow dog's fur tightly with his fingers. Yes, that's it. No matter how ferocious a dog is, it's just a dog. One bite can't kill me, it can only cause me a little damage. Now, go to hell. He roared and slammed his knee into the yellow dog's waist. Boom, the knee made a thumping sound. Advertisement. Ouch, ouch, the yellow dog's eyes suddenly bulged, his body trembled, and he groaned in pain. Biting Joju's teeth, he unconsciously relaxed a little. A dog is just a dog. It has only momentum and doesn't know how to think. As long as it overcomes fear, even a boy of 13 or 14 years old can be injured in exchange for his life. Joju sneered. He raised his leg and continued to push hard with his knee, hitting the yellow dog's waist hard. Boom, boom, once, twice. Click. On the third blow, there was a crisp sound of broken bones on the yellow dog's waist. Ouch, ouch, ouch. The yellow dog's expression softened instantly, and the ferocity in his eyes disappeared, becoming fearful and frightened. It realized that the human in front of it was not someone it could prey on. On the contrary, this human being is a stronger creature than that. Haha, ha, are you begging for mercy now? What a bastard. Joju showed a cruel smile, his eyes filled with anger, and his aura became as ferocious as a wild beast. The ferocity that disappeared from Huango's eyes seemed to be transferred to Joju's body. Joju showed no mercy and slammed his knee into the same position of the yellow dog. Even if he is just a 13-year-old boy who lacks food, repeated and powerful knee strikes can still penetrate the protection of the ribs and directly damage the deep organs. Click, click, boom, two knee strikes to the same position completely shattered the yellow dog's ribs. The last push hit him deep and into a soft object, which reminded Joju of his previous water polo shots. Slap it hard to make the water ball burst and shatter. I don't know if it was the heart, the lungs, the pancreas, the liver, etc. Anyway, some organ was smashed by Joju's knee. Advertisement. He stopped and looked down. I saw the yellow dog's eyes rolled white, his whole body twitching, biting his mouth on the side of his waist, but he had already weakly let go. Ah. Uh, Joju let out a contemptuous laugh and pushed the yellow dog aside. Only then did he feel physically tired. He was panting like an ox, his face was hot, and all the strength in his body seemed to have been drained, and he could no longer stand still. The right leg used for knee knocking was even more sore and weak, and he could no longer feel anything. He had used all his strength for every knee strike just now, not to mention the previous dodges, his energy had long been exhausted. At this point relax and the adrenaline wears off. I immediately felt exhausted, as if my strength had been drained out, and I couldn't lift my energy. Ha ha ha. But Joju just smiled, smiling happily and extremely happily. It seemed like I was so happy for the first time in my life. Boom. He sat down on the ground, covering his bleeding abdomen, and his eyesight went black. But he's still laughing. Ha ha ha, I won. Joju squinted his eyes and licked his lips, showing an expression of endless aftertaste. He became stronger. He overcame his fear and endured the pain of injury. From now on, native dogs and creatures of similar size will be his prey, weak creatures that he will trample under his feet. As for other issues, such as the treatment of injuries, rabies virus, physical overdraft, hunger, and weakness, etc. Joju doesn't care. This is the price of victory and an indispensable payment. If he is not even willing to bear this price, he will definitely not be able to pass the trial. Next to him, the dying yellow dog exhaled his last breath. Die. Advertisement. Almost at the same time, a familiar realization emerged in Joju's mind. Pass the trial. Bang. The yellow dog's body suddenly disintegrated and turned into a white smoke, glowing with light fluorescence, and flew towards Joju. Well, Joju hesitated for a moment, but instead of feeling danger, he felt a strange feeling like a baby swallow returning to its nest. So he didn't stop him and allowed the white air to fly into his body. In an instant, he felt his chi filling up, as if he had taken a legendary rare elixir, and rich life energy gurgled out of his body. Has this dog's chi been swallowed by me? Joju looked thoughtful. Without waiting for him to think more, the surrounding scene suddenly became dark. It was as if the world had fallen into darkness and everything had disappeared and faded. Before Joju could react, he left Yuinta and returned to the dormitory of the orphanage. Came back. He sat up blankly, with a familiar bed beneath him. Turning around and looking at the old wall clock on the wall, the hour and minute hands pointed to 2 and 1, which was 2.05 in the afternoon. This time is consistent with the time when Joju opens endless trial. Even the second hand only moved a few times. If you count the seconds it took him to push open the bronze door and look around when he came back, he had been fighting on the round platform for so long, but it was only a moment in reality. That round platform, isn't it reality? Joju lowered his head and looked at his abdomen. The clothes were completely restored, with no stains or holes chewed by yellow dogs. Joju paused and lifted up his clothes. I saw that the belly was intact, the bleeding wounds disappeared, and there were no scratches on the thighs from the claws. It was as if the battle taking place on the round platform was just a dream. Happy reading during the Qingming Festival outing? Recharge 100 and get 500 VIP points? Grab a deposit now, activity time, April 4th to April 6th. Advertisement. Chapter 4 Becoming Dangerous, Becoming Strong. Advertisement. But the strong phantom pain told him that it was not a dream or hallucination, but a real battle. Isn't it a true body trial? Joju touched his belly and said to himself. He wrote this down, lay down, and fell asleep. Although there were no wounds on the body, the mental exertion was extremely great. A fight with all one's strength was no joke. Joju's spirit was extremely exhausted. Of course, if you are an ordinary person, experiencing a dangerous battle, you will definitely be nervous and unable to sleep. Even elite soldiers have to calm down for a while, waiting for the excitement in the body and brain to subside. But Joju doesn't need to be like this. If he wants to sleep, he can fall asleep. He won't have insomnia, nightmares, or mental stress. He is a pure alien, a monster hidden in the human society of the past life, with thinking and personality that are very different from ordinary people. Ha, huh, ha. Huh. After a while, Joju's breathing became even. He fell into a deep sleep. Ga, ga, ga. At sunset and dusk, crows landed on the eaves in flocks, looking curiously at the humans in the yard. A group of children gathered together to wash vegetables. Ah, you are so shameless and throw your share to me. No, he did it. Hurry up, I'm going to starve to death. 
They washed the wild vegetables, wild fruits, and beans they picked. These are dinner for everyone in the orphanage. Not far away. Advertisement. Joju stood in the corner, sorting out the scraps picked up by other children and putting them into broken sacks one by one. This is his job. Da da da. Several half-year-old children ran over and shouted to Joju, Hey Joju, before the sun goes down, let's go sell the bottles. They stopped suddenly. Joju turned his head suspiciously and looked at these children who were the same age as him. When several children were looked at by Joju, they suddenly felt excited and had goosebumps all over their bodies. I don't know why, but they think Joju is terrible now. There is an indescribable sense of danger. It seems that they must not mess with the gangsters they see on the road, otherwise they may be killed. What's wrong? Joju asked strangely. Several children looked stiff, looked at each other, and shook their heads. No, it's okay. After saying that, they couldn't wait to leave. Joju looked at their backs in silence, lowered his eyes, and thought to himself, is it so obvious? In the afternoon, open endless trial and kill the yellow dog. His temperament changed. Something different from ordinary people radiated out, and the disguise of the past was like tattered clothes, which could no longer cover the abnormality underneath. The orphanage was poorly funded. Starting from the age of seven, children have to share the work in the yard. You should start learning to forage at the age of ten, and go out to take some grueling jobs during the day, or serve as an apprentice. At the age of fifteen, you will be completely independent and leave the orphanage. Therefore, the children in the orphanage are the most sensitive. They have been living in the lower world since they were young, and they know best who they can and cannot provoke. Children who don't know how to identify dangerous children have died long ago due to various accidents. The world of Hunter is not a warm and affectionate world. Forget it, let's change our disguise. Joju thought, reaching out and rubbing his face. Advertisement. Not a moment. He put down his hands, his eyelids drooped, and his head drooped slightly. The whole person looked listless. Although it cannot be completely concealed, the dangerous aura on his body has been downgraded to indifference and rejection and is no longer noticeable. It will take a lot of time to completely converge. In other words, there is no need to converge. Thoughts flashed through Joju's mind. He looked around at the orphanage and had a hunch that it was time to leave this peaceful sanctuary. But before I leave, I have to leave something for the orphanage. Joju thought in his heart. He traveled through time and became 13 years old again. He was penniless, powerless, and didn't speak the language. It was the orphanage that took him in, gave him a roof over his head, and taught him common language and writing. You can't be a human being without repaying kindness. A few days passed quickly. Joju became cold and listless, which attracted the attention of others. But people around him didn't care. Because when Joju came, his personality was not very lively, and now he is just more withdrawn. As an orphan, it's normal to be withdrawn. People at the bottom do not have the luxury to take care of their spiritual life. Click, click, click. In the bathroom, Joju stretches his body. With a crunching sound like exploding beans, a layer of gray-black foul-smelling liquid oozed from his skin, like dirty dirt. But as the water washed away, these foul-smelling liquids fell off one after another, revealing a tall, healthy body underneath. Sure enough, it's the dog's life energy. Joju lifted her hair, stood in front of the bathroom mirror, and looked at herself in it. Advertisement. The eyes are bright, the skin is rosy, and the muscles are full. It was completely unimaginable that three days ago, he was a thin boy with ribs on his abdomen. How could an orphanage with no food or clothing be able to raise a healthy teenager? This is something incredible. Joju himself was surprised. After a tough fight, the body needs a lot of nutrients. The food in the orphanage definitely didn't meet the conditions. I thought I would get seriously ill, or suffer from injuries from overwork, blood in the urine, and weakness. Unexpectedly, my body became stronger and stronger as if I had taken a tonic. Joju stretched out her hand and touched herself in the mirror in surprise. He looks healthier now than in his previous life. It's like a healthy child who has been carefully cultivated and carefully prepared in terms of diet, sleep, exercise, psychology, etc., and can only be raised by a wealthy family. Chi is life energy. The yellow dog's life energy was absorbed by me without any hindrance. Is it because these chi are mine in the first place? Joju looked thoughtful. His nan, endless trial. Turning it on once requires a long period of energy storage. What is the energy of energy storage? It's his chi. By investing chi, the energy storage of the bronze door can be increased. If you invest one tenth of your chi every day, you will be able to accumulate full energy in about three months and start the endless trial again. After starting the trial, the scenes and enemies inside seem to be constructed from his chi. Therefore, the life energy of a foreign species can be perfectly absorbed by him. Because that yellow dog was essentially made of his own chi, and what he absorbed was his own life energy. P.S. I beg the bosses for flowers. Rate the vote? Grateful? Happy reading during the Qingming Festival outing? Recharge 100 and get 500 VIP points? Grab a deposit now. Activity time, April 4th to April 6th. Advertisement. Chapter 5 The Real Harvest of the Trial The Ferocious Wild Dog. Advertisement. Wow, wow. After Joju rinsed off her body, she left the bathroom. He walked out easily, wiping his hair as he walked towards the dormitory. Along the way, I saw a lame man walking into the orphanage. It was a man in his sixties, with a wrinkled face and the smell of weather. His right leg was lame and he could only move slowly. But the man's waist is straight, his eyes are bright, and his body is very strong. Even if one leg is lame, he can still walk steadily without the help of crutches. Joju looked at it from a distance, with information about this man emerging in his mind. He didn't know much, just a little. Jerk. It's an old man's name. He was once an experienced and agile hunter, but he lost his leg in an accident and retired from the front line to do some intermediary work in the town. No family, no children. But he seems to have a good relationship with the director of the orphanage. Many children who went out to live independently were introduced by Jerk to work as workers in construction companies, guards in caravans, waiters in taverns, and apprentices in blacksmiths, etc. It is a good place for low-income children. Huh. Jerk suddenly turned around and looked at Joju doubtfully. He was very keen and sensed Joju's gaze. 
No, I should say. It's strange that he didn't notice it. Advertisement. Joju's eyes gave him a sense of danger, as if he had encountered a dangerous predator in the forest and his own life was threatened. Good morning. Joju said hello to him, then lowered his eyelids and lowered his head, regaining his previous pretense of indifference and rejection. After speaking, Jerk left without waiting for a response. Jerk looked surprised, looked at Joju's back, and murmured in surprise, this little guy of 12 or 13 years old actually makes me feel threatened. Although he is old, he is still strong. Not to mention children, even adults can kill two or three easily. Besides, I seem to smell something ferocious. Jerk touched his chin and marveled, is this kid the new Joju who came a few months ago? Onlay, you picked up an incredible one. Child. Onlay is the director of the orphanage. He was also the one who took in Joju. Jerk sighed, then looked away and continued walking forward. The life at the bottom is too harsh, and those little guys who are lucky enough to survive will become dangerous and cruel without exception. After Joju took a shower, she came to an attic on the top floor of the orphanage. This is where clutter is stored. He cleared a little space, sat inside, and looked in front of him, his gaze becoming trance-like. It's like I'm wandering far away from home. But if someone is here, they will find that the chi in Joju's body has been stimulated, and it seems to be using some kind of energy, which is being consumed rapidly. Whoosh! In the blink of an eye, Joju's chi was consumed by about two-thirds. Of course, this is to show your temperament. In addition to manifest energy, weak people also have potential energy hidden in the body. Through the practice of training, the manifest energy can be effectively improved, and the potential energy can also be improved to a certain extent. Advertisement. H.O. After Joju had consumed about two-thirds of his energy, his throat suddenly swelled and he made a low, canine growl. Not only that. Long yellow and black hair sprouted from the surface of his skin, his mouth elongated and became thinner, and his teeth and nails grew and became sharp. At the same time, another tail grew out and was attached to the tailbone. In an instant, Joju's appearance changed drastically. From a clean and fresh boy, he turned into a half-orc with thick hair and sharp teeth. This is, without a doubt, an un-cruel wild dog enhancer. Consume a lot of thoughts, gain physical strength, grow hair and sharp claws, and transform into a half-orc dogman form. This is the real reward after killing the yellow dog. That life energy is just an appearance. The real gain is that Joju obtained an enhancer's nan out of thin air without developing it. This is the true effect of endless trial. If you kill the enemy in the trial, you can eat and grow and gain the enemy's power. The ferocious wild dog will consume two-thirds of my current energy every time it is used, and then enter the half-orc state. In this state, my physique, strength, speed, resistance to blows, recovery, etc. have all been significantly improved, which is equivalent to a comprehensive physical strengthening. Once your physical strength or energy is exhausted, you will be forced to exit the orc state. Joju felt the power in this state and couldn't help but not. He reached out and grabbed a piece of broken wood nearby. Stab. With a harsh friction sound, his claws left deep scratches on the wooden board. Joju looked at it and saw that the scratch almost penetrated the wooden board. If it falls on a person, the skin will be easily torn and the bones will be visible. Click. Advertisement. At the same time, Joju held the board with his palms firmly. The hard board cracked in his hands and was crushed to pieces. The strength is better than that of adults. Even people who have trained hard, as long as they are ordinary people, can't compare to my strength. Joju nodded with satisfaction. This is a very good ability. Consume chi to obtain all-round enhancement of physical fitness, and the enhancement can be maintained until stamina and chi are exhausted. Almost no limitations, all advantages. If this were revealed, many enhancer nan would be envious. Especially, I am actually from the trade system. Joju laughed and shook his head. Nan has six major series in total. Enhancer, conjurer, emitter, transmitter, manipulator, trade system. The six major systems form an equilateral hexagon. Those who are good at nan can easily practice nan of the corresponding department, but those who are not in the corresponding department are more difficult to practice. The further away from the department you belong to, the more difficult it is to cultivate. On the one hand, proximity system abilities are easier to cultivate, with about 80% efficiency. For systems further away, it will be reduced to 60%. If the system ability is located at the opposite corner of the hexagon, it will drop to 40%. The trait system is exactly opposite the enhancer. In other words, if Joju develops enhancers nan by himself, he will achieve twice the result with half the effort, and the efficiency will be appallingly low. And the eventually developed nan will be weak or have confusing effects. Generally speaking, even those who are enhancers may not be able to develop nan as good as the cruel wild dog. It is even more impossible for Joju to have this trait. I beg you guys for your votes. Flowers? Happy reading during the Qingming Festival outing? Recharge 100 and get 500 VIP points? Grab a deposit now. Activity time, April 4th to April 6th. Advertisement. Chapter 6 Endless Trial Complete Information. Advertisement. But through endless trials, I can overcome the restrictions and obtain the excellent nan type. Joju murmured to himself. He sat down cross-legged and put the crushed wood into his pocket. A thought came to mind. The animalistic features such as hair, tail, fangs, and claws on the body disappeared quickly. Joju cancelled Crazy Wild Dog. He returned to his original fair and refreshing appearance. Of course, two-thirds of the energy consumed has not been recovered. If he wants to use Cruel Wild Dog again, he needs to recover at least two-thirds of his energy. Note that the amount of chi consumed by Cruel Wild Dog is not a ratio, but an amount. It's just that this consumed energy is equivalent to two-thirds of his total energy for Joju now. As you practice, your chi will increase. The consumption of Cruel Wild Dog will become more and more bearable. My nan, it should be like this. Joju already has a comprehensive understanding of his nan. Endless trial? When using the special nan, a simple bronze door will appear in front of you. After opening the door, you will enter a random location and fight random enemies. When you win, you take away all the enemy's power, gain growth in certain areas, or gain highly relevant nan. To use endless trial, the following conditions must be met. 1. It must be fully charged. 2. Joju's own chi must be used to charge the bronze door. 3. When using it, you need to push the door with your hands to push the bronze door open. Can be used with either hand. The restrictions in the trial are. Advertisement. 1. You cannot exit before the trial ends. 2. After starting the trial, you must win by killing the enemy before the trial can end. Killing and winning are two conditions. 3. Death in trials is real death. 4. Gains and debuffs outside the trial will not be brought into the trial. 
5. You can carry weapons, but they must be familiar to Joju and used daily. For example, missiles that are not used daily or unfamiliar weapons cannot be brought in. Finally, it is the limitation of endless trial itself, that is, the restriction. 1. When Joju stops charging the bronze door due to subjective factors, it will cause mental pressure and the mood will become sad, sad, depressed, anxious, uneasy, etc. Restarting charging will reduce stress. After charging is completed, mental stress will disappear. 2. The bronze gate is fully charged. If the trial is not started, the growth in strength will stagnate. Strength cannot be improved through any means, including practice. 3. If you refuse to start the trial due to subjective factors and it exceeds 3 months, you will lose your nan and enter the state of absolute permanently. Very, 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 harsh restrictions? Very, 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 cruel restrictions? Any wise man who knows this will be dismayed upon hearing it. These conditions force Joju to continuously recharge, constantly test, and fight continuously, never stopping for a day to rest. The so-called endless trial is a trial that cannot stop. Otherwise, why is it called endless? Joju's mood was very calm. Nin reflects the owner's will, character, emotions, wishes, etc., which is similar to the eye that reflects the soul in a certain work. Trial is what Joju longs for, so why not restriction? This Nin itself is the true reflection of Joju's inner wish. He longed for trials and continued to become stronger. If he couldn't do it, it would be worse than killing him. Advertisement. Just like if a person is depressed and unable to pursue what he desires, his spirit will inevitably be depressed, and he may even suffer from depression, anxiety, schizophrenia, and other mental illnesses. So this restriction is very reasonable, isn't it? At least Joju believes that it should be so. At the same time, orphanage, in the director's office, a man with gray hair and thick glasses smiled and poured Jerk a cup of tea. Why do you have time to come to my place? The man asked in a casual tone. He has a thin build and dark skin, like someone who has been exposed to manual labor. But Jerk, who was sitting across from him, knew that the other person was a thorough scholar. He only looked old and vicissitudes of life because of his hard work for the orphanage. In fact, his real age is six years younger than him. Onlay, don't serve this kind of inferior tea to guests. Jerk complained dissatisfiedly, but he still drank the tea. Onlay smiled and poured him a second glass without retorting. Tisk. Jerk clicked his tongue critically and drank half a glass before getting down to business. A wolf pack came to the forest to the east. They probably migrated from the Kada Plains more than 10 kilometers away. They are very ferocious. More than 30 people have been killed. So dangerous. Onlay couldn't help but be surprised. Yes, several experienced trappers I know have also fallen into trouble. Please tell the children to be careful. Jerk nodded. I will. Onlay's expression became serious. Advertisement. A week has passed. Joju exercises his body and chi every day after work, and is familiar with the four techniques of winding, training, fa and ju. This is the basic technique known as the four elements. It is specially used to lay a solid foundation for novices and get familiar with nan. Relying on the few words in the comics he had read, Joju groped for practice and gradually gained insights, but he lacked many details. In addition, he will inject one-third of his daily energy into the bronze door to recharge it. The remaining two-thirds were preserved. Considering the dangerous nature of Hunter's world, accidents can happen at any time. Joju must retain two-thirds of his energy to ensure that he can activate various wild dog at any time. One week plus the previous four days, about half a month, will the wild dog's life energy be digested. Joju thought in his heart. His physical fitness improved rapidly, which ended last night. The wild dog's life energy is used up. Now, although he is 13 years old, he has a rosy complexion and a strong body. He stands out among the thin peers in the orphanage. If you want to continue to improve your body, or even maintain your current physical strength, you need a lot of nutrition. Joju thought about it and turned to look in a certain direction outside the orphanage. To obtain nutrition is to obtain abundant food. Given his current conditions, there are only two relatively good feasible paths. One is to join a gang, and the other is to go hunting on your own. I beg the bosses for their rating votes and flowers. Happy reading during the Qingming festival outing. Recharge 100 and get 500 VIP points. Grab a deposit now. Activity time, April 4th to April 6th. Advertisement. Chapter 7 I need meat, lots of meat. Advertisement. Although the hunter world has developed towns and modern machinery, it also has extremely lush forests. Various powerful beasts and alien creatures live in the forest. Therefore, Joju can also go hunting in the forest outside the town by himself. But this requires a guide. The habits of prey, the value of prey, the dismemberment of corpses, the treatment of fur, etc. must be taught by knowledgeable people. Joju himself also prefers to hunt in the forest. Although joining a gang is feasible, it is subject to restrictions and intrigues are inevitable. At the same time, it may also bring additional risks to the orphanage. Let's find out some information first. Joju finished the morning's work after cleaning the ground and chopping firewood for the fire. He washed his hands and face and walked to the cafeteria. It is said to be a canteen, but in fact it is just a large shed built randomly. There are two large long wooden tables inside, and there are several large pots and pots of vegetables piled on the table. One table for children and one table for adults. Here, Joe. Come on, come on, I'll prepare your meal. There's actually dried meat today. As soon as Joju entered the cafeteria, several children of the same age greeted him warmly. He smiled, walked over and sat down between them, looking like the leader of the children. These were the children of the same age who were frightened by him that day. Now, he has become his fan. His unique characteristics will certainly scare people, but they will also attract people to gather around him. With Joju's intentional contact, the original group of children quickly accepted him. These children regard Joju as a powerful big brother. The instinct of seeking advantages and avoiding disadvantages not only makes people avoid danger, but also makes people admire the strong. Advertisement. Joju is the strongest among them. Whether it is thinking, wisdom, experience, will, or strength, physical strength, they are all powerful enough to crush their peers. Do you know where the Dean's predator friend lives? Joju asked pretending to be casual after sitting down. This problem is not difficult for children born and raised in orphanages. At number 58 Fangding Street. Yes, the first floor is his herbal medicine shop, and the second floor is where he lives. 
He is now also taking on the work of training apprentices and traveling as a tour guide. Not long after, the lame old trapper's underwear was almost dug out. These children work for a living at the bottom and are the most sensitive to information. Joju nodded after hearing this and continued to eat the brown rice in the bowl with his head lowered. Did you hear that a group of foreign wolves appeared in the forest to the east? The children chatted about other topics. It's a hot topic among wolves recently. Hundreds of people must have died. There are hunters who have formed a team and want to hunt down the wolf king. I heard that there were more than 20 people in the team, but only one came back. The one who came back had his right hand bitten off. Pitiful. Losing one hand means saying goodbye to hunting life. A pack of wolves? Joju listened on the sidelines, but he became thoughtful. He needs a lot of meat to supplement his body's growth and exercise consumption. In the hunter world, the more ferocious and powerful the animal is, the more abundant life energy it has. Perhaps we can hunt these wolves. Joju thought to himself. Advertisement. And, there happens to be an experienced guide. Jerk's name flashed through his mind. Lunch is over. Joju did not take a nap, but left the orphanage and went to where Jerk lived. It was a dilapidated 2 a half-story building. There is a counter on the first floor with a sign next to it, accepting herbs, furs, and animal meat. The second floor is the living area. There is also a small half-floor balcony on the second floor. When Joju came, there happened to be no customers. Jerk dozed behind the counter. Boom boom. Joju stepped forward and knocked on the counter politely. Jerk, I want to hire you to take me to the eastern forest to hunt wild beasts. After he finished speaking, he got straight to the point. Behind the counter, Jerk opened his eyes and frowned when he saw Joju. Where did you come from, kid? You can go to the forest too, go home and find your mother. We met once, Jerk. After being scolded, Joju remained calm and said, when we were in the orphanage. Well, Jerk seemed to remember something and looked at Joju with squinted eyes. The more he looked, the more surprised he became. Isn't this the kid from the orphanage who made him feel dangerous? I haven't seen him for a while. He's gained weight. Jerk sat up and looked at Joju doubtfully. That's not important. Joju waved his hand and said, What's important is that I hope you can serve as a guide and take me to the forest to the east. The cause of his physical changes was not explained. Jerk's frown deepened. Advertisement. He looked at Joju again. The child who gave him a sense of danger more than ten days ago was now as fair and fair as a kid from a rich family. The feeling of danger was gone. However, Jerk did not think that the child had become safe. On the contrary, it has become more dangerous. Because this child knows how to restrain his minions, hide his aura, and pretend to be harmless. It seems like you have quite a background. Jerk thought thoughtfully. It's not important. Joju repeated. Indeed, your background has nothing to do with me. Jerk laughed and asked, You also want to hunt the wolf king? If I have the chance, I will do it. Joju nodded and said, But the more important goal is to hunt ordinary beasts. I need meat, a lot of nutritious meat. As he spoke, he released the energy from his body. There is no malice, not evil thoughts. Just dissipate the lingering energy in a deterrent way. Uh huh. Jerk was suddenly startled and jumped up from his chair. You. He looked at Joju in confusion, feeling a strong sense of crisis and goosebumps all over his body. It was as if the boy in front of him was extremely dangerous, and his harmless appearance was just a disguise. In fact, this is a ferocious beast covered in human skin, which will tear open the disguised human skin at any time, tear him into pieces and devour him whole. I'm not an ordinary kid, let alone an ordinary person. Joju looked at Jerk seriously and said, I have the ability to hunt in the forest. Ordinary beasts are no match for me. If you are still not worried, we can. Begging for flowers? Rate the vote? Happy reading during the Qingming Festival outing? Recharge 100 and get 500 VIP points? Grab a deposit now. Activity time, April 4th to April 6th. Advertisement. Chapter 8 Jerk accepts employment and enters the forest. Advertisement. No. Jerk raised his hand to refuse. He looked at Joju intently, frowned, and said, I know what's going on. It's Nian, right. This time it was Joju's turn to be surprised. I didn't expect that people in a remote town would actually know the existence of Nian. Many wealthy businessmen and powerful people may not know this. Haha, <laughs> I met a few monsters when I was young, and they gave me the same feeling as you do now. Jerk laughed and said, they call this power Nian, and it has a unique the weakest one can break a tree as thick as a bucket. Boy, I believe you have the strength to enter the forest. Fair enough. Joju also smiled, saving the effort of explaining. Boy, I accept your employment. Jerk opened the door on the side, let Joju into the room, and said, now, let's talk about the price of employment. For Dean Onlay's sake, can you let me pay on credit? Joju walked in with a smile. Even if Onlay comes, we can't pay on credit. Jerk immediately retorted. The two closed the door and discussed in the room. Pulled several times. Finally set a suitable price. Jerk is responsible for finding prey, gathering herbs, dismembering body parts, selling them, buying supplies, etc. Joju is only responsible for killing with his hands. Jerk gets 80% of the profits and Joju gets 20%. This 80% includes tuition fees. During the hunting period, Jerk will teach Joju the knowledge of being a hunter and introduce sales channels to Joju. Every time Joju masters a piece of knowledge, his profit share will increase by half. Eventually, when Joju can go into the forest to hunt alone, Jerk will help him sell corpses full time, and the profits will be divided into 60 and 40 cents. Joju has 60% and Jerk has 40%. Humph, you confident brat. Jerk made a contract and looked at Joju provocatively. Advertisement. This agreement is a bet on Joju's learning speed. The longer Joju takes to learn his craft, the higher his profits will be. On the contrary, the lower his income is. Just wait and work for me for three years. Jerk raised his head and showed a proud look. Joju smiled nonchalantly and left Jerk's house. His learning ability is not bad. Especially after absorbing the life energy of wild dogs, his thinking speed, memory, comprehension, etc. have all been significantly improved. It seems that the talent has also increased. What's more, Jerk often helps orphanages and introduces places to children looking for a way to survive. This 80% of the proceeds should be considered as giving back to Jerk for the orphanage. Two days later, Jerk purchased all the equipment. Joju found him at the appointed time. After meeting, they left the town and walked to the forest to the east. Hey, look over there. Isn't that Jerk? Dressed up with all the equipment. He also wants to hunt wolves. 
You're kidding. He's been lame for so long. I doubt he even remembers the way into the forest. On the way out of town, many people noticed Jerk. Before Jerk became lame, he had a good reputation as a powerful hunter. Wait, why is he still bringing a child? You're crazy. You're looking for death. Hey Jerk, if you want to die yourself, why are you taking your child to die? Yes, it was okay for the wolves to tear you apart before, let alone what you look like now. People around were surprised when they saw the combination of Jerk and Joju. Shut up, everyone. Advertisement. Jerk yelled in his rough voice, glaring at the people on the roadside. You bunch of bastards, mind your own business. The people around him curled their lips and looked like they were watching a good show. Only a few people looked at Joju in surprise, as if they recognized him as someone from the orphanage, and immediately turned around and ran to the orphanage. Joju was unimpressed. Faced with numerous looks and comments, he turned a deaf ear and his expression did not change. An old man and a young man walked and quickly left the town and entered the forest to the east. Orphanage. And Lai couldn't sit still when he learned that Joju and Jerk had gone to the east forest. How did they, how could they go to such a dangerous place? He walked out of the office quickly with a worried look on his face. Others were also surprised when they heard the news. Is Joe crazy? If you go to the forest to the east now, you are totally seeking death. What is Jerk thinking? If the two of them go in, they will become food for the wolves. Both the employees and the children were puzzled. Those experienced hunters all died in the forest, not to mention you, Joju and Jerk, one old and the other young. The old one is still Leme. What should I do, Dean? An old employee asked worriedly. Well, Dean Onlay sighed deeply and said feebly, the two of them have already entered. Now, we can only wait for the news. After saying this, everyone in the orphanage fell silent. The forest is very dangerous. It was impossible for them to go in to find Jerk and Joju, so they could only wait for news from others. But in their opinion, Joju and Jerk were in danger. Advertisement. The other side. In the forest, Joju and Jerk walked on the rugged path. Protruding tree roots, hanging vines, overgrown shrubs, and grass, all kinds of plants intertwined, hindering the two people's progress. Watch my steps carefully. Lift and put down gently. Always keep your eyes on the surroundings and don't move these plants rashly, because you don't know whether a venomous snake or a harmless squirrel will pop out. Jerk walked ahead, demonstrating how to walk in the forest. After a while, he turned to look behind him and asked Joju with great interest. Boy, how are you studying? The sound stopped suddenly. Jerk's eyes widened and he looked at the young man walking nimbly behind him in surprise. The other party was like a familiar hunter, easily bypassing various obstacles and steadily following behind. Although he was still a little stiff, he was obviously familiar with the forest environment. If an ordinary person came to learn this, it would take at least three to five days, and he would have to suffer a lot during this period. But Joju followed him into the forest for just over half an hour? Are you familiar with the forest environment? What's wrong? Joju looked at him with a smile. It's okay. Jerk's lips trembled and he turned back to Presley. He thought he could see a joke. What a monster? Jerk thought to himself. These people who mastermind are all monsters. Please give me your rating votes. Flowers? Happy reading during the Qingming Festival outing? Recharge 100 and get 500 VIP points? Grab a deposit now. Activity time, April 4th to April 6th. Advertisement. Chapter 9 Now we have a harvest of 5,500 nuns. Advertisement. Joju smiled without saying a word and continued to follow Jerk. In fact, ordinary nun people cannot learn so fast unless they have special nun. But Joju is different. After devouring wild dogs, his talents also increased. At the same time, taking off the disguise allowed his mind to be freed from its shackles, releasing all its hidden potential. Joju can master some simple skills dozens or hundreds of times faster than ordinary people. The patient's capital is verified, and he is now a genius? Swish swish. The two walked for more than an hour and left the safe periphery of the forest. The vegetation here is denser, the air is moist with a rotten smell, and the roads have basically disappeared. On the outskirts of the forest, there are also trails for humans to walk. But here, there is no such thing as a road. How to walk and how to identify the direction all depend on the hunter's experience and knowledge. That's a nice bird. Jerk pointed in a certain direction, keeping his eyes on his surroundings. Its feathers are very valuable, about 4,000 ni, but they are very fast and difficult to catch. Whoosh. As soon as Jerk finished speaking, there was a sound breaking through the air. An afterimage passed by the edge of his vision, quickly hitting the bird in the distance. Jerk was so startled that he almost couldn't help but pull out his weapon and aim it at Joju behind him. Tizzy. The bird screamed and flew away in panic. Advertisement. Jerk glanced at it, then turned back to look at Joju with an expressionless expression. Didn't you say it's very valuable? Joju shrugged. My accuracy is pretty good, I feel like I can give it a try. Remind me next time. Jerk said with twitching eyes. His grandma's. Suddenly something flew out, and he almost thought something was attacking him. You missed, the bird ran away. Jerk waved to Joju, turned around and prepared to continue walking. No, I hit it. Joju shook his head. Jerk was stunned. That bird obviously flapped its wings and ran away. Look. Joju raised his hand and pointed him in a direction. Jerk looked along, squinted his eyes, and saw clearly that it was a fork in a branch, with a broken branch and a broken bird's claw hanging on it. Wait, bird claw? Jerk's eyes fluctuated, and he looked at Joju in surprise. You actually hit it. I told you I was very accurate. Joju smiled lightly. Tisk tisk. Jerk was amazed. He looked at the severed branch again, which was about the thickness of an adult's finger. It was where the bird had been standing just now. Unexpectedly, he was hit with a stone by Joju. If he were to come, he could break such a branch with his hands. But if you throw a stone, I'm afraid it won't hit you even if you throw it a dozen times. I already overestimated you, but unexpectedly I underestimated you? Jerk praised you. You will be surprised a lot. Joju chuckled. Haha, I'll wait and see. Jerk took another step, but not forward, but in another direction. A bird that has lost a leg is severely injured and will scream in panic. Can't run far. Advertisement. Sure enough, after a search, Jerk found a trembling bird with a broken leg on the top of a tree dozens of meters away. They're here to rob. Jerk raised his chin to indicate a certain direction. Joju looked over. A colorful venomous snake crawled from not far away and also stared at the injured bird. Whizzing, Joju threw two stones directly. After knowing how to use chi, even without using men, his vision, reflexes, shooting speed, etc. have all been improved. At this time, two stones were thrown, directly hitting the bird and snake through the air. 
Bang bang. Only two muffled sounds were heard, and two bodies fell from the tree. Jerk took a few steps closer and took a look, his expression even more surprised. The bird was punched through the abdomen, and the snake was punched seven inches through the heart. It was at least twenty meters away, and the body was smashed with rocks. Forget about the bird, but this snake has scales. Jerk said in surprise. The remaining doubts in my heart were gone at this moment. Although Joju controls none, having power and how much power he can exert are two different things. Jerk did not dare to go deep at first, and planned to find a few weak prey for Joju to try to see how good Joju was. Now it seems that there is no need for it at all. Just by the accuracy and force of throwing stones with these two hands, Jerk knew that this boy was even more powerful than he was when he was young and before he was lame. The snake's fangs, venom sacs, and gallbladder are valuable, about 1,500 gots. The meat is not valuable, so we can take it back and eat it. With the addition of this bird's feathers, we now have a harvest of 5,500 garni. The purchasing power of garni is equivalent to the Japanese yen, and the ratio of the Chinese national currency to the Japanese yen is about 120. Not bad, your orphanage collects scraps for a month, that's all. Jerk's technique was very good, he perfectly removed the valuable parts of the prey and preserved them well. Joju was on alert. 5,000 nip sounds like a lot, but it is actually equivalent to 250 Chinese national currency. Of this, 80% will be given to Jerk, which is 200 yuan. Advertisement. Joju only has 50 yuan. It was all spent after two meals. Let's keep moving forward. Jerk washed the blood on his hands to avoid attracting predators, and led Joju towards the deep forest. The deeper you go into the forest, the more powerful the beasts appear. Pheasants, rabbits, Mongolian cats, leopards, foxes, pythons, various animals that should not live together appear strangely in the same forest. And extremely aggressive. Even herbivores are as aggressive as carnivores. Joju officially started the battle. Bang, poof, hiss. It was a bit embarrassing at first. But after several times, Joju became familiar with it. His movements became dexterous, and he was able to fight in the forest environment like a duck to water. The attack methods of wild beasts are nothing more than pouncing and biting. They are good at using claws and fangs, but only use claws and fangs. Not long after, Joju changed from a passive challenger to an active predator. This transformation was extremely rapid. Normally, the birth of a qualified hunter must take several years of training and training. But it only took Joju a few hours. What a pervert. Jerk watched Joju's growth with his own eyes, and his eyes changed completely. Please give me flowers. Ask for a rating boat. Thank you. Happy reading during the Qingming Festival outing. Recharge 100 and get 500 VIP points. Grab a deposit now. Activity time, April 4th to April 6th. Advertisement. Chapter 10 The Wolves Appear. The Yakko's Wolves, 10 tenths. Advertisement. Even with Nan, this growth rate is outrageous, right? Jerk couldn't believe it. And Joju, after several hours of fighting, is still in high spirits. His eyes are shining, as if he is not tired at all. Rather, he felt even more excited. This feeling of weakness, mastery of skills, and rapid growth in battle was like some addictive drug, making him unable to stop. My brain is boiling. Now I have harvested about 30,000 Gini. Any more will affect my actions. Jerk sorted out the harvest and said, Although you can carry some, you are responsible for fighting, so it is best not to. It's your responsibility to be vigilant when you return. This is the agreed upon arrangement. When the harvest is close to Jerk's upper limit of weight, he will return. Joju felt a little regretful. He wanted to continue, but he did not refute. Instead, he followed the agreed rules and chose to return. It's really good. What I gained from this trip was something I rarely experienced when I was young. Jerk said with emotion. The benefits to the predators are not high. Many times, they come back empty-handed. Occasionally there is a harvest, but it is only of fragmentary value. Sometimes the northwest wind may last for a month. Let's go, the sun will set later. Jerk walked back happily, feeling the joy of the long-lost harvest. Since becoming lame, I haven't been deep into the forest for twenty years. Wait, Jerk. Joju suddenly made a sound and looked somewhere to the left. What's wrong? Jerk turned around in confusion. Is that footprint a wolf? Joju pointed to that place. Advertisement. When Jerk heard this, he was startled at first. He approached the place and after taking a closer look, his expression suddenly changed and he became extremely nervous. It's a wolf. Damn it, aren't those wolves operating one kilometer away? This is not their hunting ground. Jerk spoke very fast, and his whole heart was lifted. Although the wolves are in the eastern forest, it does not mean that they occupy all the corners of the eastern forest. He did his homework before entering the forest and planned a specially planned route. I thought I had avoided the wolves' hunting ground, but I didn't expect that group of guys to be active on their hunting route at some unknown time. Let's go. Jerk turned around with a serious look on his face. It's too late. Joju shook his head calmly and suddenly punched the back with his backhand. Almost at the same time, a slender gray shadow pounced on Joju from behind. Click. Joju's fist hit Hui Ying's head, making a crisp sound of the skull breaking. The gray shadow instantly lost strength, fell to the ground, and lost his breath. A fresh wolf corpse appeared. Jerk looked at the wolf corpse, his pupils tightened and his expression was shocked. He was surprised that the wolves were targeting them. I was even more surprised when Joju smashed a wolf's head with one punch. Are this guy's fists made of hammers? Jerk, you go and stay in the tree first, and I'll kill the alpha wolf. Joju said calmly, without even looking at the wolf corpse on the ground. As early as when he heard about the wolves, he was prepared for the encounter. Compared with beasts, man's greatest advantage is wisdom. The so-called wisdom is to prepare for a rainy day. Okay. Jerk was also decisive and climbed directly to a nearby big tree, climbing to a branch more than two meters high. Although he is lame in one leg and is old, he is still agile. Advertisement. Otherwise, he would not dare to take Joju deep into the forest. I'll wait for you here. Jerk sat on the branch and said solemnly, be careful. Yeah. Joju nodded, turned, and left. Jerk looked at Joju's back with surprise in his eyes. He had imagined that Nan would be strong, but he didn't expect it to be this strong. That's a skull. 
Among the bones of living things, the skull is the hardest. It is difficult to cut open with a knife. Head surgery often requires an electric drill to open the skull. But Joju smashed it with one fist. How amazing this power is. Even elite soldiers who have received hard training are far inferior. This time, maybe I can actually survive. Jerk muttered to himself with his heart beating wildly and cold sweat on his face. The wolves are not that simple. Once these creatures form a group, they will be fearless and attack food crazily. Even tigers, lions, cheetahs, black bears, etc. are all on the diet of wolves. He is a layman old guy. To the wolves, he is simply food delivered to the door. If Joju hadn't been here, he would have started writing a suicide note by now. No coincidence. Outside the forest, a message came from the government agencies. The migrated wolf pack, named Yakko's Wolves, left their original habitat due to water pollution. The group number is 10 to 16, which is a small wolf pack. The individual strength and agility are extremely strong, exceeding that of most adult males. When soldiers in the army fight one-on-one, -on -one, if they only use cold weapons, their winning rate is only 40%. The alpha wolf will be stronger and have the intelligence of a 10-year-old human child. No wonder the hunter team suffered heavy casualties. Advertisement. Yes, it turns out that he is not an ordinary wolf, but a dangerous species of wolf. Without firearms, I'm afraid it will be difficult to deal with them. It's difficult even if you have a gun. You may not be able to hit the vital point. If you can't kill it with one shot, it will jump on you. Alas, it seems we can only rely on the army. People on the streets were talking about this. The government seemed to have no intention of mobilizing the army. It only issued warning signs and issued a reward of 1 million gots. An ordinary wolf can get 100,000 ring nuns with its tail. The alpha wolf can get 500,000 ring nuns with his tail. If the wolves are completely wiped out, you can get an additional 1 million ring nuns. It's over, it's over. In the orphanage, Anlei looked dejected. Jerk and Joju, please don't let anything happen to you. The government has issued bounties, which shows the danger of wolves. With that combination of one old and one young, let alone a pack of wolves, even a single Yako's wolf would be killed. Jerk, what are you doing? Anlei put his face on his hands and rubbed them irritably. Why did you bring Joju into the forest? He noticed something special about Joju. This child is not like a child, he is as mature as an adult. But this special feature is not enough to allow Joju and Jerk to survive in the dangerous forest. Return to the forest. Asking for flowers from the bosses? Rate the vote? Happy reading during the Qingming festival outing? Recharge 100 and get 500 VIP points? Grab a deposit now. Activity time, April 4th to April 6th. Advertisement. Chapter 11, Racing for the Wolf? 1 5th. Advertisement. Joju strode forward with excitement in his eyes. Wolves? Danger? No, for him, this is the battle he dreams of. People who have awakened their thoughts, even if they have not developed their own exclusive men, can have considerable destructive power just by blowing out the chi. That's what he did when he smashed the wolf's skull just now. Joju's fist actually didn't use much force. The main reason was that the chi wrapped around the fist exploded when it landed on the wolf's head. Besides, I also have a ferocious wild dog. Joju murmured to himself, with a smile on his lips. He has not charged the bronze door today. Just in case, prepare for any accidents that may happen during hunting. And now is the time to use this prepared chi. Ouch, ow. Joju walked tens of meters away when a wolf howled. He stopped. Not long after, I heard gentle tapping sounds on the ground. Gray black wolves appeared from all directions, surrounding Joju. They opened their green eyes and looked at Joju with cold gazes. The thick legs, sharp teeth, and ferocious wolf kiss all exude a ferocious and dangerous aura. The air seemed to become chilly. Surrounded by wolves, even the top predator will tremble. Joju is like a lamb delivered to the door among wolves. But Joju didn't show any fear and just laughed. Bring it on. As soon as he finished speaking, four-fifths of the pale white gas surrounding his body suddenly disappeared. Cruel wild dog? Advertisement. In the next moment, his hair grew thick, his teeth and nails elongated, and a thick tail grew from his tail vertebrae. Click, click, click. At the same time, the joints crackled, the body suddenly rose by more than 10 centimeters, and the muscles also expanded suddenly. In an instant, Joju transformed from a 13-year-old boy into a strong orc of 17 or 18 years old. This nun, if it provides extra chi when it is turned on, the body will also be extra strengthened. Joju gently clenched his fists and half squinted his eyes in comfort. This feeling of getting stronger is really gratifying. Seeing Joju's sudden change, the Yakko's wolves around him suddenly became confused. Phew. They twitched their noses and sniffed carefully a few times, as if they were smelling Joju. Well. Joju looked around in confusion and saw the wolves relaxing one by one and sniffing at him, as if they judged him as the same kind. A ferocious wild dog still has this effect. Joju was surprised. Ahead, the circle of wolves suddenly opened into a passage. Ouch. All the Yakko's wolves looked over, raised their heads and let out long wolf howls. The wolf howls. A larger Yakko's wolf walked slowly, with elegant steps and a cold expression. There was a handful of silvery white hair on its forehead. As soon as this huge Yakko's wolf appeared, the surrounding wolves squatted down. What is this? Joju looked at this scene and burst into laughter. Do you think of me as a similar person who is challenging for the position of leader? In a wolf pack, the position of alpha wolf is selected through battle. Whenever the current leader gets old and the wolves below think they can take his place, they will launch a challenge. Victory will result in the new alpha wolf, while failure will result in expulsion from the pack. This challenge is a fair fight, a custom engraved in the wolf's genes. Roar? Advertisement. The current alpha wolf growled and bared his teeth at Joju. Fine. Joju nodded funnily and waved to the alpha wolf. His target is also a wolf anyway, so now he can face him directly, which saves him a lot of effort. Ouch. Human anger flashed in the alpha wolf's eyes. In its view, Joju is the challenger. But this beckoning gesture arrogantly regarded it as a challenger. Whoosh. Almost at the same time, two blurry shadows appeared in the field. Joju and the alpha wolf pounced on each other in unison. Swish, swish, swish. The sharp claws of both sides clawed in midair, each tearing apart the other's fur, bringing up drops of blood. Two figures staggered down. Joju stood in the original position of the alpha wolf, and the alpha wolf stood in Joju's original position. Really sharp claws. Joju looked down at the wound and said with admiration. There were three 10 centimeter long wounds on his chest, and blood was oozing out. 
He is now covered in thick hair, and his defense has been increased by several levels, so much so that a kitchen knife will slip away. But the wolf's claws could easily tear open his flesh. Roar, the alpha wolf arched his body and stared closely at Joju. There were also three 10 centimeter long wounds on its neck, and blood was constantly oozing out. This is a tentative attack. Both sides left wounds on each other. Come again. Joju gently raised her fingers, deliberately making a contemptuous expression. Ouch, advertisement. The alpha wolf's anger was suddenly ignited. Although it has an IQ equivalent to that of a 10-year-old human child, it has become a weakness at this time, because it understood Joju's provocation. Whoosh, the alpha wolf moved again, even faster than before. He turned into a gray shadow and rushed in front of Joju's eyes. He opened his fangs and bit Joju's neck fiercely. Joju's eyes flashed as he stared closely at the alpha wolf's movements. He didn't fight back, he just rolled sideways to avoid the wolf's fight. The blow missed, and the anger in the alpha wolf's heart became even stronger. At the same time, Joju's evasion and not fighting back made it think that Joju was weak and timid, so it grew confidence and arrogance in its heart. Whoosh whoosh, it kept attacking, using all its strength. All the experience and skills gained from many years of fighting were used. Joju, on the other hand, only dodged but did not attack, looking at the alpha wolf with bright eyes, learning its movements and techniques. The ferocious wild dog turned him into an orc. So in order to maximize the power of the half-orc state, it is natural to learn the attack methods of beasts and make good use of claws and fangs. Ouch, the alpha wolf attacked more than ten times without success, and his head was completely overwhelmed with rage. The movements are more rapid and the speed is faster. However, the attack method also became stiff and monotonous. Whoosh, it swooped forward again, pressed its claws to Joju's chest, and bit Joju's neck with its fangs. Joju suddenly twisted his waist and moved more than ten centimeters to the left out of thin air. This is the wolf's technique of tossing and turning when he is stuck in the air. I beg you guys for your votes, flowers, happy reading during the Qingming festival outing, recharge 100 and get 500 VIP points, grab a deposit now, activity time, April 4th to April 6th, advertisement, chapter 12 I have learned your things, two fifths, advertisement, swish, the alpha wolf's minions failed and passed Joju, this moment, Joju flicked his backhand, and his sharp claws pierced the soft belly of the alpha wolf, using the force to tear it apart, wow, large areas of blood, intestines, stomach bags, etc fell to the ground, boom, the alpha wolf's body fell like a broken sack, its belly was completely cut open, and all the organs inside were pulled out. I've learned your stuff. Joju flicked the blood foam on his fingertips and looked back at the alpha wolf. At this time, there was no trace of contempt or provocation on his face, only calmness and indifference. Everything just now was a disguise. Who? The alpha wolf spit out blood, his eyes widened, and looked at Joju in disbelief. Only then did it realize that it had been deceived. The outcome has been decided. The alpha wolf's eyes gradually lost focus and he stopped breathing. Ouch, the wolves squatting around them howled and howled the loudest and loudest to welcome their new leader. Go, go, go. But Joju waved his hands in disgust, stepped forward and kicked the sitting yakko's wolf. Ouch ouch, the wolves are not angry even if they are kicked, because now Joju is their leader. Just screamed in grievance. Some of the female wolves pressed hard against Joju and began to gasp for air, showing signs of estress. Roll. Advertisement. Joju's face darkened, he picked up the two she-wolves that were sniffing at his crotch, and threw them away. Get out of here. Joju pointed in a certain direction and yelled, kicking the yakko's wolves towards that direction. An expulsion. The wolves finally understood what Joju meant. They wanted to return to their original range of activities and were not allowed to hunt here. Ouch, the wolves knew nothing, and after understanding the meaning, they started running quickly. As for the original alpha wolf, its body remained where it lay, without the wolves even looking at it. This is the cruelty of the law of the forest. There will be no similar memorial to the dead king. The tribe always follows the strong. Once you become weak, you will be abandoned by the tribe. Don't cross this stream. Joju drove the wolves back to their original activity areas, carefully drew boundaries, and warned them. Ouch, ow, ow. Across the stream, the wolves howled in confusion. Why did the new leader abandon them? But under Joju's tough attitude, the wolves had no choice but to leave. Wait until all the wolves have left. Joju then returned to the body of the alpha wolf, stuffed the fallen organs back, and then carried the body back. On the branches, Jerk hid nervously, his hands and feet already starting to feel numb. He heard the howls of wolves and felt uneasy. Especially the wolf howl at the end, even a child can hear the joy and cheer in the cry. The wolves cheer, doesn't it mean Joju? Jerk's heartbeat slowed down a beat. Cha-cha, advertisement. At this moment, there was a sound of plants rubbing gently. Who? Jerk looked warily, his face extremely nervous. He was worried that the wolf was coming. But where the sound came from, among the whirling plants, what came out was a fair-skinned young man, dragging a wolf corpse larger than himself in his hand. This. Jerk's eyes suddenly widened and he couldn't believe what he saw. You killed the alpha wolf. He couldn't wait to jump off the branch and ran towards Joju. Didn't I say that I would kill the alpha wolf? Joju smiled and threw the wolf corpse to Jerk. Boom. Jerk struggled to catch it and took several steps back before regaining his balance. He looked at the wolf corpse in his hand in amazement, as if he was observing a rare treasure, and gently stroked every inch of hair. This is a wolf. He was the alpha wolf in the pack who killed more than 20 predators and killed hundreds of people. This kid Joju actually killed it. Jerk was filled with disbelief. He didn't waste any time and immediately disposed of the wolf carcass, removing the internal organs one by one and storing them separately. Even the large intestine was squeezed out of feces and put away. This is all money. Hiss, I can't understand your strength at all. Jerk looked at the wounds of the wolf corpse and took a breath. The wound on the abdomen was extremely silky. Use the force and angle to hit the target, and disembowel it completely without damaging other parts. The greatest value of a wolf is its fur. The wound is opened on the abdomen to preserve the integrity of the fur as much as possible. Of course, this is also difficult to do, but it is difficult to do it, which just shows Joju's ease. He actually has the leisure to kill the alpha wolf using the method that can best preserve the value. Although there are several wounds on the neck, they can be repaired with thread. Some collectors prefer furs with partial battle damage. Well, it wouldn't be bad to make a specimen. 
Advertisement. By the way, I haven't dealt with the wolf whose head you smashed before. Jerk also became excited, handling the two wolf carcasses eagerly. While dismembering the body, he explained to Joju how to dispose of it. Gurgling. Joju listened quietly beside him, drinking clean water from the water bag, and his recognition of Jerk in his heart increased a lot. Jerk did not ask him how he did it, nor did he explore the wounds on the alpha wolf. He clearly wasn't armed, so why did he leave a knife-like wound? This is very strange. But Jerk turned a blind eye. At the same time, Joju also had many wounds left by wolves, but they had already scabbed. This healing speed is also abnormally fast. Jerk also pretended not to see it. This is a qualified partner. Joju nodded inwardly. He went out of his way to hide in the ferocious wild dog. Not only did it avoid Jerk when using it. When I came back, it ended early. The scars formed on the wounds were due to the strong recovery power of the half-orc state. After the bleeding stopped, Joju ended the transformation. Let's go back. Jerk took care of the two corpses and handed the one of the alpha wolf to Joju. He himself carried the ordinary one on his back, taking with him the previous gains. The two men carried the wolf corpse on their backs and staggered away. Along the way, many carnivores asked about the smell of blood and came over to take a peek. Joju exuded his own aura, which contained the ferocity of the recent killing, which immediately frightened the peeping animals and made them retreat. Not long after, the two left the forest and returned to the main road in the town. Begging for flowers? Rate the vote? Thank you. Happy reading during the Qingming Festival outing? Recharge 100 and get 500 VIP points? Grab a deposit now. Activity time, April 4th to April 6th. Advertisement. Chapter 13, Initial Fame, Three Fifths. Advertisement. At this time, at the east gate of the town, Dean Onlay and several half-year-old children waited anxiously. They watched the sunset in the west, the light gradually dimmed, and their moods sank. Four-year-olds know it. The forest at night is more than ten times more dangerous than during the day. No one spends the night in the forest. If Jerk and Joju didn't come out before the sun went down, they would have probably encountered an accident and stayed in the forest forever. They're back. Dean Onlay was anxious when suddenly the child next to him pointed forward and shouted. Dean Onlay was stunned for a moment and looked up. Under the orange-red light, two figures, an old man and a young man, were walking towards them with heavy steps. None other than Jerk and Joju. Before Dean Onlay could speak, the people around him had already exclaimed. Look at their backs. So, that's a wolf. Not just a wolf, but a wolf. Oh my god, Jerk and this brat hunted down the leader of the wolf pack. Onlay was stunned. He took a moment to notice that Jerk and Joju were each carrying a wolf corpse. The one on Joju's back was even as big as an ox, and he knew it was a ferocious alpha wolf. He was stunned. Come on, Dean, let's have a big dinner tonight. Joju had already walked up to Dean Onlay, smiled and took the Dean's arm, and walked into the town. Jerk followed with a smile. This evening, the fame of Joju and Jerk spread throughout the town. Advertisement. Even the kids in school have heard about it. Two obviously weak guys, an old man and a young man, actually hunted and killed the leader of the Yakko's wolf and brought back the wolf carcass intact. That night, there was a queue of cars outside the door of Jerk's house. Gangsters, wealthy businessmen, and powerful people all sent people to buy the body of the alpha wolf, and wanted to make it into a specimen and place it at home. Because the body was largely intact, it was sold for two million ring nip. This price is twice the reward offered by the government. Jerk simply held a small trade fair and invited many old trapper friends to sell the harvest from the bottom of the box. The trade fair was crowded with people, and many mobile vendors also gathered here. Children from the orphanage came out one after another to help set up the scene, guide the way, collect garbage, and other tasks. As a reward, they can eat freely at the vendors tonight. So full, so satisfied. Wow, the chicken legs are so delicious. Is this what it feels like to be full? Joe, I love you so much. Children, big and small, cheered and happily joined the trade fair. It wasn't until early the next morning that the crowd dispersed. Call. Jerk stayed up all night and drank several bottles of wine. He returned to his room on the second floor smelling of alcohol. After washing his face, he sobered up a little. He glanced at his room, where the quilts were neatly folded. Tisk. Jerk rubbed his teeth for a while. The trade fair was so lively last night, but Joju didn't care at all. After applying medicine to the wound, he borrowed his room to sleep. Can you sleep on this? Jerk didn't understand at all. If it were him, he would have hunted a wolf when he was young, and he would have been drunk for three to five days, and then stayed at a different girl's house for at least half a month. Advertisement. Unlike this kid, he went to sleep without saying a word after coming back. As calm as an ice cube. Boy, here comes the money. Jerk carried a suitcase and staggered up to the small balcony on the top floor. On the balcony, Joju was lying on his favorite lounge chair, enjoying the cool breeze in the morning. He also likes to lie here usually, but most of them have wine bottles and snacks on hand. And Joju was lying here, with a bowl of millet porridge, a plate of green vegetables, a stack of salad, and a glass of milk at hand, which made Jerk stunned for a moment. Isn't this too exquisite? Where are you from, young master? Jerk twitched the corners of his eyes. He didn't even know where he got these things. Anyway, he definitely didn't have them at home. Bang! Jerk threw the suitcase on the ground and opened the lid, revealing the full stack of Kianis underneath. Last night's items were sold for a total of more than 2.7 million yuan. I'll give you the full amount, 2.8 million yuan. The top wolf paid 2 million for palladium to the town's number one jeweler. The ordinary wolf gave 600,000 to conquer. Other items were sold at a premium of more than 180,000 because of the glory of hunting the top wolf. This is what we got from yesterday's hunt. As Jerk said this, he counted out 560,000 ring NIS from the suitcase and handed it to Joju. Joju took it with a smile. It was agreed that the share would be 82%, and the 560,000 yuan would be 20% of it. In addition, the government has issued a reward for the wolves. An ordinary wolf is worth 100,000 yuan, and the first wolf is 500,000 yuan. They sent the money last night. Jerk counted out another 600,000 yuan and said, The reward is it's not within the scope of our agreement, so it's all yours. Joju reached out and took the 600,000 yuan. Now, he has 1.16 million in hand. After thinking about it, Joju took out 160,000 yuan and put it casually into his pocket, and carefully put the other 1 million yuan into an envelope. Jerk's mouth twitched at the side. 
He could see clearly that Joju took out the envelope from his room. Advertisement. You want to separate on purpose? Jerk asked casually, lowering his head and closing the suitcase. Well, one million nuns are for the orphanage. Joju nodded and said, this money is enough for the orphanage's expenses for a year. Jerk's movements paused. He was an old man, and from these words, he could tell that Joju wanted to leave. Planning to leave? Jerk asked. Well, not now, but I will leave eventually. Joju nodded in reply. That's fine. You don't look like someone who lives in this town. You should go to the wider world. Jerk agreed. Of course. Joju smiled. His journey has just begun. The two stopped talking. Jerk went back to rest, while Joju ate breakfast slowly and enjoyed the sunrise before leaving to go back to the orphanage. Orphanage. Joju handed over one million nip to the dean, who patted Joju's shoulder happily. This money can buy winter clothes and thick quilts for the children. One month from now, Joju works in the orphanage as usual, cleaning and chopping firewood. However, I went to miss a jerk for lunch and dinner. The reason is that Jerk held a trade fair and took the opportunity to sell his own backlog of goods, which was partly due to his Joju. Jerk couldn't shirk it, so he had no choice but to let Joju take advantage of him. Please give me flowers. Ask for a rating boat. Thank you. Happy reading during the Qingming Festival outing. Recharge 100 and get 500 VIP points. Grab a deposit now. Activity time, April 4th to April 6th. Advertisement. Chapter 14 The Second Trial Swordsman. Advertisement. Having just earned over 2 million, Jerk was extremely rich. Joju ate at his place, a big meal of fish and meat, and the extra meat was packed back to the orphanage. During this period, he entered the forest several times. The wolf pack lacked his alpha wolf and did not produce a new alpha wolf. Instead, it remained in a loose state and provided Joju with a prey every five days. Sometimes it's a deer, sometimes it's a sheep, sometimes it's a cow. The amount of meat each time is enough for Joju to eat alone for four or five days. Joju thought about it for a while, gave up the idea of exterminating the wolves, and instead accepted the offerings and restricted the scope of the wolves' activities. During this period, he will observe the hunting of wolves and learn more about wolf attack methods. He has basically mastered the power of the half-orc state perfectly. A month passed in a blink of an eye. His height suddenly increased, reaching 1.6 meters. This height is pretty good for a 13-year-old child. At the same time, Joju did not forget to practice the four elements. His energy volume has increased considerably, and now he only needs to consume about one half of his energy to use cruel wild dog. From two-thirds to one half. Consumption is significantly reduced, but that's all. Joju murmured to himself, a dissatisfied expression flashing across his face. Physical growth, energy increase, or state mastery skills. There are three improvements in one month, which seems good. But in fact, it is far from activating potential. I need a mature and complete practice method to stimulate my potential and become stronger faster. Joju said in his heart. He walked into Jerk's house and came to the balcony by familiar routes. He released his energy and injected it into the bronze door. Make up for the last bit of deficiency, so that the bronze door can be fully charged. The chi volume increased, and the chi that Joju injected into the bronze every day also increased accordingly. Come on, the second trial. Advertisement. Joju closed her eyes and waited patiently for the little bit of energy she had consumed to be replenished. Ensure condition is 100% intact. He just opened his eyes, and the idea of using them came to his mind. Uh-huh. In an instant, a simple bronze gate stood upright, with fine patterns on it, like a dragon entwining and growing like a branch. Joju put his hand on it and pushed it gently. Crunch. The heavy bronze door was pushed open, and a huge amount of white light spewed out from inside. The light drowned Joju. It seems like a dream but not a dream, it seems like waking up but not waking up. When Joju came to his senses, he found himself in a dojo. The floor is paved with wooden planks, and there are no obstacles around. There are only calligraphy and paintings hanging on the walls of the dojo. Clang, there was a sharp sound of unsheathing. In front of Joju, stood a man wearing a loose kimono, with a small beard, sharp eyes, and a sharp samurai sword in his hand. The man holds a knife in both hands, and his posture is stable, like a pine and cypress in the mountain. There was a faint sharp aura about him, as if the man himself had turned into a sharp knife, or perhaps resonated with the knife in his hand. Man and knife unite, the sword enters the realm? Joju frowned slightly, guessing in his mind. Swordsmanship is the art of killing people. If he were a true master of swordsmanship, he would probably be very victorious. People and animals are different. People are very good at using skills. Advertisement. Ha. Huh. The man shouted loudly, stepped forward, and swung the knife with great force, as if he wanted to cut Joju into two pieces with one strike. Joju retreated suddenly and quickly retreated. But the slash followed Joju closely. Whoosh. In midair, only the light of the sword was seen flying, continuous and chilling. Swish. Joju was forced to the edge of the dojo. Finally, he couldn't dodge and was grazed by the sword on his arm. Suddenly, burning pain emerged. A 7 to 8 centimeter long wound was cut on his left upper arm. But Joju didn't change his expression. He stepped on the wall behind him, used the force to hit the man, and grabbed the man's throat with his right hand like a wild beast. Ah, uh, the man didn't take it seriously at first and just dodged on his back. Rub 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 rub. Unexpectedly, halfway through, Joju's hand suddenly grew thick hair, and her nails stretched out, turning into wolf-like claws. What? The man was horrified. He turned his arm without hesitation and slashed the blade towards Joju's throat. One side is a blade, the other is a claw. The two aimed at each other's throat at the same time. It seems like a lose-lose outcome. Joju and the man stared wordlessly, and the man saw Joju's indifferent eyes. There was no wavering in his eyes, only the ruthlessness of a beast. The man's heart trembled, and he was unwilling to fight to the end. Call out? The blade pulled back, and the man chose to give in. He stamped his feet on the ground, and his body slid back strangely. Advertisement. Joju's claw failed. He rolled on the ground, broke away from the wall, and threw himself more than 10 meters away. In the process of rolling, the hair on the body grew wildly, the mouth elongated, revealing the staggered canine teeth, and the body suddenly grew in size. Cruel wild dog? When he got up, Joju had turned into a half-orc with a height of 1.8 meters. Red. The man looked at Joju's change and frowned. Do you know Nian? Joju asked with interest. He didn't expect that the second trial would bring him a living person of flesh and blood. Is this man real? Where did his skills, personality, clothing, etc. come from? 
Joju himself doesn't know anything about swordsmanship. I have seen people like you and killed many, the man said, regaining his straight posture, as if he had no intention of talking. Joju looked at him thoughtfully. It feels like this man is not very intelligent, it seems like he is just a coping program. Once it reaches the level of design, there will be a certain reaction, but no more, and there will be none. Besides, there's no none either. Joju's eyes lightly swept over the man's head, and he used the condensation technique to gather chi at his eyes. The next moment, he saw traces of life energy escaping from the top of the man's head. Ordinary people's chi is constantly escaping. Only those who have mastered Nian will know how to use tangle to bind life energy, forming a thin air film that wraps around the body. This is the technique of condensation. By focusing the chi in your eyes, you can see the chi in others. I beg the bosses for flowers. Rate the vote. Happy reading during the Qingming Festival outing. Recharge 100 and get 500 VIP points. Grab a deposit now. Activity time, April 4th to April 6th. Advertisement. Chapter 15 I understand, my weakness. Five-fifths. Advertisement. This man may not have none, but he is skilled in swordsmanship. Nan people are not absolutely better than ordinary people. I have to be careful. Thoughts flashed through Joju's mind, and her body relaxed a little. This is not relaxation, but relief before an explosion. When hunting, wolves often move with graceful and light steps, looking relaxed and comfortable. When they decide to attack, they will suddenly explode and pounce on their prey with lightning speed. This is a skill Joju learned from wolves. Before, the man holding the knife also had a solemn expression, ready for battle, and his body was in the most suitable posture for exerting force. He observed Joju and frowned secretly. What a ferocious move and momentum, he is risking his life at every turn, just like a wild beast. This young man doesn't look big, so why is he so fierce? Did he grow up among wild beasts? The man thought of the news he had seen. Some animals will raise human babies as their own children. The raised human children will grow up to be like animals, roaring, arching their backs, and baring their teeth. He felt that the boy in front of him was somewhat similar, but not entirely. It's more like a person who is naturally vicious and full of animalistic nature. The fair appearance on the outside is just a disguise. Have to say, humans are humans, nothing like animals. This man noticed Joju's background in a very short period of time. This kind of naturally vicious child, if given the right guidance, can become a martial arts fanatic or a sword fanatic, which is a good thing for the school and himself. The man thought in his mind and slowly adjusted the angle of the knife in his hand. He changed his posture vaguely. Advertisement. But now, this boy is my enemy? Then I, have to kill him. I have killed several people like Jianqi. The man's eyes suddenly became sharper. Ha. He shouted loudly, stepped forward, and moved his body towards Joju as if sliding. At the same time, the knife in his hand slashed out sharply. Ho. Joju also growled, his hair stood up, his muscles suddenly tensed, and then exploded like a spring that was pressed to the extreme. He turned into a swift shadow and pounced sideways towards the man's abdomen. Both sides were fearless and took the initiative to attack. Dao Guang and Ji Ying started fighting fiercely. Stab? Joju's movements were extremely sensitive, and his claws tore the man's kimono apart. Call out? The man stabbed the tip of the knife with his backhand, forcing Joju to give in. Both sides moved around within a few meters. Claws and blades greeted each other mercilessly. Not long after, there were scars on both of them. Drops of blood spilled out, like an ink painting, splashing freehand tracks on the floor. What happened? Joju suddenly felt something was wrong. The man displayed smooth swordsmanship, including forward cuts, reverse cuts, thrusts, teases, cassock slashes, reverse cassock slashes. Various moves were like water splashing out, protecting the surroundings airtight. This makes it difficult for Joju to attack. The few effective attacks were met with a backhand stab from the man, forcing him to exchange injuries for injuries. Why can't I get the upper hand? Joju frowned secretly. Advertisement. He is obviously stronger and faster, but he just can't get in. The man's skillful and varied swordsmanship prevented his attacks well, while leaving wounds on his body, like a knife bleeding, chipping away at his physical strength bit by bit. If it is in the wild, according to the beast's thinking, it's time to leave. Predators should not choose difficult prey because it will cause injury and energy consumption, and injuries are extremely risky in the wild because there is no medical treatment. But now it's a fight to the death. Either die or win. In other words, the beast's skills are not enough for my current battle, right? Joju suddenly had an idea. At the same time, he couldn't help but be stunned for a moment, aware of the nature of the trial. It seems that any enemies that appear will target his weaknesses or vulnerabilities. Good chance? The man noticed that Joju was distracted. He keenly captured this brief opportunity, strode forward, and slashed out with the smoothest gesture with his familiar katana. Uh-huh. A sword light was pulled out from the man's hand, illuminating the dojo slightly. Puff. Blood splattered on Joju's body, and a huge wound appeared from his left shoulder to his right waist, as if he was about to be split in half by the light of a knife. The man was very excited when he saw this, and continued to step forward. The katana that had just completed the slash cut back, like an ayai, and swept towards Joju's right leg. Joju's hamstring was to be cut off. But Joju suddenly jumped up, his body soared into the air, and the well-developed muscles in his waist pulled wildly, spinning like a top in midair, and swooped out. Ta 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 ta. After getting out, Joju got down on all fours and ran as fast as a wolf. He ran 20 meters away in one breath before turning to look at the man. This series of actions caused Joju's wound to open wider, spilling a large amount of blood along the way. But Joju didn't take it seriously. The pain and blood loss made his mind clearer. The so-called trial means testing and assessment. Advertisement. It's like a final exam that students have to face after finishing the class. The knowledge and answers must be clear, but some people can get it right and some people can't. Why? Because the idea of solving the problem is wrong? Joju grinned, showing an excited smile even though the situation was not good. The man couldn't help but frown, not understanding the meaning of Joju's smile. 
Did he become completely crazy after falling into a desperate situation? What a beast! The man shook his head inwardly. Da da da! He strode forward, dragging his katana, and charged towards Joju, who, Joju growled, lunged forward, and continued to attack like a wolf. It seems that there is no change from before, but there was no trace of ferocity in his eyes, only the calmness of an ancient well. I understand, my weakness. Learning the skills of the wolf pack can certainly bring out 100% of the power of the half-orc state, but I forgot that I am essentially a human. Human skills are far superior to those of beasts. This half-orc posture is just part of my power and skill, but I foolishly indulged in it, taking pride in being an unintelligent beast. This is the mistake I made. Joju analyzed herself calmly and crazily in her heart. He didn't care about the wounds on his body, turned into a quick shadow again, and pounced into the light of the sword. This time, a pitched battle did not occur. Please give me flowers. Ask for a rating vote. Happy reading during the Qingming Festival outing. Recharge 100 and get 500 VIP points. Grab a deposit now. Activity time, April 4th to April 6th. Advertisement. Chapter 16 Joju, I'm secretly using my skills. Advertisement. Joju's attacks became superficial. He waved his claws, trying to grab the man's thigh, but his strength failed halfway. When the man's slash fell, he jumped away nimbly. Whoosh, the man chased him with smooth slashes. Joju didn't fight back, he just kept jumping, rolling, and running to open up the space. When the man stopped chasing, Joju launched another tentative attack, attacking from the side or behind, pretending to be fierce from the edge of the man's perspective. The man was forced to keep turning. The two kept moving around. Period. A large amount of blood fell from Joju, and the severe pain from the wound stimulated him like needles, but in the cruel wild dog state, the wound quickly formed a bloody scab. The bleeding stops. The physical strength and energy are endless and slowly consumed. What happened? Now, it was the man's turn to feel something was wrong. He frowned and looked at Joju doubtfully. Ta, ta, ta. Joju turned around him, and the man had to follow suit and tighten his body, maintaining a state of vigilance. Wait a minute, the look in this boy's eyes. After the man turned a few times, he suddenly realized that Joju's eyes had changed. It is no longer ferocious that makes people's hair stand on end, but as calm as still water, showing a faint look of observation and thinking. Joju is observing and thinking. He was analyzing the man's movements, trying to identify the man's intent to attack. He should have done this. In the half-orc state, he has far superior physical strength, agility, recovery, resistance to blows, and a large amount of chi than ordinary people, so he should not use it blindly. Nor should they be like wild beasts, eager to kill each other. Advertisement. He should try it out slowly. The physical advantages of the half-orc state gave him a lot of room for error. He should be like a patient hunter, slowly testing out the man's tricks and details. Patience. Patience is a very good quality. While Joju was thinking, he launched attacks from all angles. Every time, I either gave up halfway or stopped at the touch of a button. I had no idea of fighting with the man head-on. But men dare not gamble. Who dares to bet that if a ferocious beast pounces on you, it wants to play with you or bite your neck off? A man can only treat every temptation from Joju as a real attack. This boy, is he observing me? The man was defensive and secretly frightened. He sensed Joju's intention. How can it be? You were clearly in a fierce and life-threatening posture just now. Why did your style suddenly change 180 degrees? Is he schizophrenic? The man began to feel anxious. After staying for a long time, his energy was consumed rapidly, and his nervousness was almost reaching its extreme. Whoosh, Joju swooped forward again. This time, he was even more skillful, with a fierce expression and eyes, acting as down to the bone. Call out? The man was indeed fooled, and he struck out with the same step. But as soon as Joju saw the man stepping forward, his fighting movements changed. He stepped hard with both feet and jumped back more than 10 meters like an arrow. Naturally, the man's attack failed. The two looked at each other from more than 10 meters apart. Joju's eyes were as calm as water. There was anxiety in the man's eyes, and cold sweat broke out on his forehead. I see. Joju looked at the man indifferently and said in his heart. His right shoulder and waist strength are naturally excellent, and the slashes he swings with his right hand are even more powerful and swift. Advertisement. Therefore, he is very good at cutting with cassock and is used to cutting with cassock. Joju's eyes suddenly became sharp. The man's eyelids twitched, and he felt like he had been seen through all his nakedness. He couldn't believe it. Could it be that with just a few minutes of testing, the young man had seen through his tricks? Impossible? Without decades of immersion in swordsmanship, how could it be possible to easily see through a person's swordsmanship? The man kept denying it in his mind. However, he became panicked uncontrollably. If Joju were to answer, he would explain that he did not see through the man's swordsmanship, but the man's movement habits. No matter how exquisite the sword move is, it still requires a slash with the arm. Whenever there is movement, there are signs in the shoulders. Joju can guess what the man's next move will be just by staring at his shoulder. Whoosh! Joju took the initiative to launch the attack. His figure was like lightning, and he suddenly pounced on the man, grabbing the man's neck with his sharp claws. Ha! Huh. The man scolded and struck out with a knife, and the light of the knife suddenly appeared. Joju's movements changed midway, and he accurately captured the trajectory of the sword's light. He tapped the blade lightly with his claws and missed the angle of the strike. Despair? Joju missed the slash and continued to rush forward. The distance between the two sides shortened to one meter. At this distance, Joju's arm was long enough to touch the man's neck. Get away. The man's expression changed drastically. He pulled back his katana and deftly drew an arc with his arm, changing from cutting to slashing. Joju dropped the man's neck and jammed the katana with his claws. Ding ding. The sharp claws rubbed against the blade, causing sparks to fly. Advertisement. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. Joju continued to attack, lunging, and clawing. It seemed to have returned to its original ferocity, with every move aimed directly at the man's neck. But men can always use the edge of a knife to intercept it dangerously and easily. Wrong. At a certain moment, the man suddenly realized something was wrong and retreated sharply. He suddenly realized that he had overlooked something very fatal. Have you finally realized it? Joju let the man retreat and stood there with a chuckle. I have clearly seen through your movements and your habits. Why do you still intercept every attack? Is it your swordsmanship skills that are so proficient that you can do whatever you want, and it doesn't matter even if you are seen through? Of course not. Joju flicked her fingers, and after many collisions, her nails were already full of cracks. At this time, when it was flicked, it shattered and fell. Click, 
At the same time as the nails broke, the man's sword also made a breaking sound. The man lowered his head and looked at the knife blankly. Dense cracks appeared on the blade, spreading upward and downward from the middle, to most of the blade. The real reason is that I am using my skills secretly. Joju's voice reached the man's ears. I will cover my paws with my breath. Joju said calmly, every time you intercept my claws with a knife, it is equivalent to a violent collision of chi. The collision was so slight that it was difficult to detect. But if you do it too many times, it will be enough to make your knife break and shatter. I beg you all for flowers. Rate the vote. Happy reading during the Qingming Festival outing. Recharge 100 and get 500 VIP points. Grab a deposit now. Activity time, April 4th to April 6th. Advertisement. Chapter 17 Victory. Reward. Two-fifths. Advertisement. This is Joju's problem-solving idea. If the beast's skills are not enough, then other skills need to be used. And he definitely knows the answer. So, is there something or any skill in him that he has been neglecting so that he has not used it? Search along the lines of human skills. Joju found the answer easily. That is the advanced skill of reading, Jo. By wrapping your chi around the objects you touch, you can strengthen the properties of the objects and create unique power. Joju knows this skill. However, he did not have detailed training methods and could not achieve perfection. But just because it's not perfect doesn't mean it can't be used. Just like using condensation, you can focus the chi on your eyes, and you can see the chi on other people's bodies. Although the eyeballs are very fragile, and blood vessels and nerves can be easily damaged by accident, Joju does not need to be perfect. He only needs to gather chi roughly and look at the other person's chi flow to confirm whether he is a good person. Even rough techniques are completely sufficient in certain situations. When a swordsman loses his sword, he loses most of his life. Joju walked towards the man, the sharp claws of his left hand glowing coldly, I won this duel. Click. The man reluctantly reached out and touched the blade. The upper half of the blade broke directly from the place with dense cracks. The man suddenly turned pale. The more you focus on the sword, the less you can lose the sword. Because the sword in the hand embodies hard work and persistence, it is an important support for the spiritual will. If the sword is broken, faith will also be broken. Whoosh! Joju rushed forward and grabbed the man's neck with his left hand. The man remained motionless and did not even dodge. Hiss! Advertisement. Joju's claws tore open most of his neck, and the nerves, blood vessels, trachea, etc. were all severed. Blood gurgled out. Cough. The man knelt on the ground and did not cover his neck. He just fell to the ground and looked up at the protagonist. Once a swordsman loses his sword, 90% of his skill is lost. All swordsmanship has become a loft in the sky. Although Joju was injured, the bleeding was stopped, and he still had plenty of physical strength and energy, and he could still use the sharp claw on his left side. The man knew at that moment that he had lost. Young man, you are really a born killer. He looked at Joju and marveled at Joju's eyes that were still as calm as water. No sadness, no joy, calm and composed. It was as if a rare victory could not make Joju feel any excitement. It's just another trial. Joju responded calmly. Trial. The man murmured the word doubtfully and breathed his last breath. His head drooped. Bang! The next moment, the man's body exploded and turned into a pale white airflow, rushing towards Joju, just like the yellow dog before. After death, it will turn into life energy. Joju accepted this life energy. Uh-huh. At the same time, the dojo suddenly became dark, as if all light had been lost. Joju's spirit seemed to be in a semi-trance state. When he came back to his senses and the light reappeared in front of his eyes, he was no longer in the dojo, but back on the balcony of Jerk's house. The breeze is gentle and the sun is shining. It was a quiet and peaceful morning. Advertisement. Joju stared around, looking a little dazed. One second it was a fighting place, and the next second it was back to peaceful daily life. This gave him a sense of time and space. At the same time, it also gave him some inexplicable enlightenment. Trial. Joju frowned, and a vague idea emerged in his heart. But, it's not clear yet. But he knew that it was about the idea of oath. Ninkers can make rules through oaths to gain more power, but violating oaths will also have serious consequences. What kind of oath can be added to the endless trials? Joju was a little curious. However, that idea is not yet clear. Still needs time to perfect. He turned his attention to his body. He looked down and saw that it was true. His clothes were neat and his body was intact. The injuries he suffered during the trial were like an illusion and were not brought out. However, his chi increased rapidly. Moreover, there is some unfamiliar knowledge in my mind. Orphanage. After a sumptuous lunch of meat and vegetables, Joju was sitting on the steps of the corridor, quietly basking in the warm sun. He half squinted his eyes and sorted out the results of the second trial. The first is life energy. In other words, chi. If his chi volume was 1 at the beginning, then after a trial and swallowing a wild dog, it became 1.5. And now, his chi volume is 3. Advertisement. Fully doubled, using cruel wild dog, the cost is also reduced from half to one quarter. Secondly, it is the unfamiliar knowledge that appears in the mind. It was a swordsmanship school called Fei Wu Ryu, which was good at change and defense. All the swordsmanship moves, body exercises, steps, breathing, killing moves, sword recognition, enemy identification and other knowledge of this school were all covered. At the same time, there is also the combat experience of an elite swordsman. Joju was like an enlightenment, instantly accepting all the knowledge and insights of a swordsman master. Just increase the intensity of your body and develop muscle memory. Then, he will also be a sword master. The gains this time are these two things. Joju murmured to himself, the first is the increase in chi, and the second is the Fei Wu Lu swordsmanship. He sat upright, his eyes were solemn, and he exuded a sharp aura, like a good swordsman. In the hunter world, although there are firearms, the inheritance of the swordsmanship school is still flourishing, and there is an endless stream of people studying under it. If ordinary people want to learn superb swordsmanship, they must practice hard for more than 10 years. To reach the level of a swordsman in the trial, you need a lot of tricks, actual combat, and killing. Without 20 years of hard work, it would be impossible. And I only need one trial, one fight to the death. Joju whispered to himself, this sounds incredible, as if mastering a skill requires no price at all. But the price has been paid long ago. That is a battle with life as a bet, and a battle that will never stop until death. This is his nan, endless trial. If ordinary people have this kind of mentality, most of them will be shocked. But Joju was very happy. 
He even felt that fighting in the trial gave him the feeling of being alive. I beg the bosses for flowers. Rate the vote. Happy reading during the Qingming Festival outing. Recharge 100 and get 500 VIP points. Grab a deposit now. Activity time, April 4th to April 6th. Advertisement. Chapter 18 Fei Wu Lu Swordsmanship, Three Fifths. Advertisement. Few, in the orphanage, in the open space behind the protagonist, he practices the swordsmanship in his mind. Chopping, 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 stabbing, teasing, cutting, whittling. Various basic moves come out at once, as naturally as flowing water, and they are connected back and forth, making the sword power continuous, as if forming a cold light. Not far away, the children in the orphanage holding wooden swords all opened their mouths in surprise. I can't believe that a week ago, Joju was a person who didn't know the slightest swordsmanship and was swaying with his sword. At that time, the orphanage still thought Joju said that teaching them swordsmanship was a joke. Unexpectedly, only one week passed before Joju changed completely. Not only is he skilled in sword moves, he also has a sharp aura about him. Like an old swordsman who has been immersed in the art of swordsmanship for many years, his strikes are flashing with cold light, and his strikes are as fast as wind and thunder, beyond the reach of the naked eye. No matter how stupid you are, you will understand at this time that Joju's swordsmanship is not low. It can even be said to be extremely high, first go jogging for 8 minutes, then come back and practice the basic chop 50 times. Joju finished his practice, turned around and said to a group of children. He taught swordsmanship to children in the orphanage for free. Anyone who wants to learn can come. It also provides me to the orphanage to meet the children's exercise needs. Joju checked it out and found that there are no traces of Fei Wu Lu swordsmanship in this world. I don't know if it is too remote and buried in history, or if it doesn't exist at all. Joju doesn't care either. In short, Fei Wu style swordsmanship can be taught to anyone at will. Even if the people in the orphanage don't have any talent for swordsmanship, it's still a good thing if they can complete basic training and have a strong body. Not long after, a group of children finished jogging. Advertisement. More than a meter apart, they stood in the open space of the orphanage, seriously swinging the wooden knives in their hands. Even though his hands were bleeding, he gritted his teeth and remained silent. Stand straight and look ahead. Don't tense your arms. When you exert force, push harder. Keep your feet apart and stand firm. Joju looked over one by one, found something wrong, and corrected it in time. Off the field. From time to time, a figure wearing glasses would come over and watch quietly. After watching for a while, the figure left happily. He is Dean Onlay. I'm afraid the origin of this child is not simple, Dean. An employee said in a low voice when he met Enlai. I know. Dean Onlay nodded with a smile, but he is now a child in our orphanage and is willing to contribute to the children. This is enough. That's true. The employees listened and agreed. When evaluating a person, one should not judge by his deeds but his heart. It doesn't matter what Joju's background is, as long as you know that Joju is helping the orphanage, that's enough. Who in this world doesn't have a few secrets? Evening. Joju washed off all the sweat, ended the day's practice, and went to Jerk's house to enjoy the autumn breeze as usual. He never forgets to take his knife with him when he goes out. Nowadays, Joju never leaves the knife when traveling. What's for dinner tonight, Jerk? Joju walked into Jerk's house in a familiar manner. Behind the counter on the first floor, Jerk sat as usual, flipping through photo magazines. Advertisement. Hearing Joju's voice, he raised his head angrily, glared and cursed, eat, 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 you know how to eat, are you a pig? Joju turned a deaf ear and went straight to the kitchen. After a moment, he made a sound of surprise. Oh, there's venison. Oof, you might as well turn into a pig. Jerk cursed unhappily. Looking at Joju's back, he was shocked again. Good guy, he actually saw the shadow of a famous swordsman in Joju's stance, steps, waist, and hands. He's the kind of guy who has been practicing swordsmanship for many years, and his swordsmanship is in his bones. The action of drawing their swords has become an instinct second only to breathing. They can draw their swords and slash at any time and from any angle. Therefore, no matter where they go, these people will instinctively choose the right place to draw the sword. Those who are familiar with it will know it at a glance. Jerk had seen such a person when he was young, and now he smelled the same smell and temperament from Joju. This puzzled Jerk. Did you pick up all your previous sword skills in just one week? No, this is nothing. Jerk was a little stunned. What's even more terrifying is that this kid is only 13 years old. 13 years old? Do you have this level of swordsmanship? Did he start practicing swordsmanship since he was born? Jerk doesn't dare to think about Joju's origins now. What kind of family environment is that? There was a commotion in the kitchen. An hour later, the aroma of food came out. Jerk stood up voluntarily, closed the door on the first floor, and walked into the dining room with his lame legs. On the dining room table. Advertisement. Joju has already laid out four dishes and one soup. Fresh fish, venison, fried bacon, unknown vegetable stew, mushroom soup. Jerk was surprised again. Which family's child can skillfully cook four dishes and one soup at the age of 13? In fact, 99% of families cannot do this. There are many people who cannot cook four dishes and one soup at the age of 33. Joju is a special case. Began to eat. Joju sat down, picked up the chopsticks and began to quickly pick up vegetables and chop rice. He was too embarrassed to do nothing when serving Jerk's food every day. It just so happened that Jerk's cooking skills were hard to describe, so he came to cook every day. By the way, where did this venison come from? Joju asked while eating. Palladium, remember. Jerk chewed the venison and replied, it was the rich businessman who bought the wolf carcass last time. He sent someone to deliver it. Why? I don't know, I just know that he has been sending people to hunt deer in the forest recently, but he doesn't eat the deer meat himself, but gives it all away, Jerk said. Venison has a special flavor. Especially the venison that runs freely in the mountains and forests has a firm texture and is full of chewiness. Joju ate with gusto, but that doesn't explain why he gave you venison. You're not a powerful guy. Fart. Jerk stopped immediately, slapped his hand on the table, and said angrily, I was also one of the best predators when I was young. Maybe people have heard of my reputation. Hey, you started dreaming just after dark. Joju laughed. Get out. Jerk yelled. A dinner was spent amidst the noise, but both Joju and Jerk knew that the reason why Palladium sent venison could only be because of Joju. Happy reading during the Qingming festival outing? Recharge 100 and get 500 VIP points? Grab a deposit now, activity time, April 4th to April 6th. Advertisement. Chapter 19 Look at yourself, 4 fifths. Advertisement. 
I am a 13-year-old child, and my status is very different from that of a wealthy businessman. It was probably noticed because of the corpse of the first wolf. So, he has an animal he wants to hunt? Joju looked at the remaining venison in the kitchen thoughtfully. Not surprisingly, it should be a deer, right? The next day, at 7 o'clock, Jerk just opened the door to do business. Joju helps arrange the goods. Buzz, buzz. A classic car drove from a distance and parked steadily in front of Jerk's shop. Click. The car door opened and a man dressed as a butler stepped out. Are these two Mr. Joju and Mr. Jerk? The butler smiled and took out two exquisite gilded invitations from his arms and said, My master, I would like to invite you two to have lunch at Sixty Coco Restaurant at noon today. As he spoke, he bent down and delivered the two invitations. Joju was confident, raised his hand to take it, nodded and said, I will go. Seeing this, Jerk also took his chair. Thank you very much for taking the time to attend the meeting, so I won't disturb you too. The butler said in a gentle voice, bowed with a smile, returned to the car and left. Joju watched the car disappear, looked away, and looked down at the invitation. Advertisement. It was a very delicate invitation, and the words on it were actually traced with gold powder, which showed the wealth of its owner. For such a beautiful invitation, my entire year's income is not enough to match the value of this invitation. Jerk kept admiring next to him, like an old country farmer who had never seen the world. Joju didn't feel much at all. For the weak, making money is not a difficult thing. What's more, money is just a circulating equivalent. Really valuable good things cannot be bought with money, they can only be exchanged for things. I like it so much, I'll give it to you too. Joju casually threw his invitation to Jerk. Hey, hey. Jerk hurriedly caught it and barely missed falling to the ground. It would be a huge sin for something so valuable to get even a speck of dust on it. You don't want it. Jerk asked doubtfully after catching it, this invitation is very valuable. If you sell it directly, it is estimated to be worth 30,000 nuns. Here you go. Joju turned around and went out, waving his hands casually. Really? Jerk couldn't believe it, and then he was ecstatic. Then I have to frame it properly and brag to others in the future. The famous wealthy businessman Palladium has sent me invitations. As you wish. Joju had already walked to the street, and his figure gradually faded away. Yep, you're a kid who doesn't know how valuable money is? Jerk secretly scorned behind his back, lowered his head and continued to touch the two invitations with admiration. It's not that we don't know that money is valuable. But for Joju, this kind of thing has little practical value. Giving him an invitation would be better than giving him a finely forged samurai sword. He strolled down the street, his steps, breathing, and muscles all cooperating unconsciously. Fei Wuliu's swordsmanship is constantly honed. It has reached the legendary state where one can practice walking, sitting, lying down and standing. This was also the level of that man's swordsman in the second trial. That man was a true master of swordsmanship. It's a pity that it's still not enough in front of the unique men. Advertisement. In one week, I have practiced all the skills in my mind. Now I can be called a master of swordsmanship. But the path to swordsmanship does not end there. Joju entered the forest while thinking. He sometimes kills wild beasts with his katana, sharp and smooth slashes, always able to accurately slit the prey's throat, or pierce the heart with swift thrusts. Just an hour. Joju harvested more than ten prey. Then, he wiped the slightly curled katana back into its sheath, consumed chi, transformed into a half-orc form, and led the pack of wolves to hunt. His claws are covered with chi from time to time to enhance the power of his slashing attacks. The killing efficiency is also extremely high. In just half an hour, he led the wolves on three hunts and obtained enough food for three days. Joju also had an extra baby elephant to take away alone. If anyone from the Hunter Association saw this scene, they would be shocked. Even for the weak, it is difficult to hunt animals comfortably in the forest. Because chi is limited, the weak must use their chi sparingly. And most men are not directly aggressive, which leads to many hunters still using fists and kicks when fighting. Joju is actually one of them. His an endless trial is not an offensive ability. It's just that he put his life as a bet, passed two trials, and gained extra strength and attack moves. Ordinary people can only master extra power by practicing day and night. On one side is slow cultivation, on the other side is quick success in life and death. Essentially, the cost is the same. However, no one with a clear head would choose a quick fix. Advertisement. A good swimmer drowns in the water. In a battle where you risk your life, you can win many times, but if you fail once, you lose everything. Joju's trial is purely evil in the eyes of normal people. However, Joju himself is not a normal person. If you can't keep fighting and getting stronger, it will be worse than killing him. Therefore, if you fail the trial, you might as well just die. It is precisely with this idea in his subconscious mind that Nan, who is as bizarre and extreme as endless trial, was born. The swordsmanship is good, and the orc condition is also good. Joju bid farewell to the wolves, dragged thousands of kilograms of prey home with a net woven from rattan, and muttered to himself. However, these two powers cannot be integrated and cannot be used together. Just like Ultraman Tiga does not have a composite type, only a powerful type and an aerial type. He is always a partial fighter. Joju murmured, looking thoughtful. After the second trial, he developed a habit of looking at himself. Now, he discovered a weakness that was easily overlooked. Two powers of different types cannot be used together, cannot be one plus one, and cannot maximize their own power. What else can we do? Joju wanders and thinks in the forest. He felt that he already had a vague idea in his heart. However, it's almost noon now. Let's go eat first. Gone back. Joju dragged thousands of kilograms of prey carcasses back to Jerk's home in front of the shocked eyes of countless passersby. Happy reading during the Qingming Festival outing? Recharge 100 and get 500 VIP points? Grab a deposit now. Activity time, April 4th to April 6th. Advertisement. Chapter 20 Invitation from the Wealthy Businessman Palladium, 5 fifths. Advertisement. You brought back a large number of prey again. Jerk looked at the corpses in this large net in surprise and marveled. Boy, you will kill all the animals in the forest. Joju didn't take it seriously for Jerk's complaints. The forest is huge. Not to mention that he hunted such a small amount, even if he went into the forest to plow the courtyard and clean the dens of hundreds of animals every day, he would not be able to exterminate the animals. The level of power in the hunter world is too high. The vitality of animals is extremely strong. 
In the depths of the forest, there is no telling how complex an ecosystem has been formed. Human towns are nothing more than novice villages built on the edge of the forest relying on the V5 alliance. Not to mention, the human world itself is very small, just on an island on Lake Mobius. Outside the lake, there is a wider, wilder, and strange world. Get it done quickly, let's go to Zixi Coco restaurant for dinner. Joju waved his hand and did not argue with the old guy jerk. Snort. Jerk snorted lightly and lowered his head to sort out Joju's prey. The two of them worked together to sort out the high-value prey, process it, and then sell it. The low-value prey is cleaned a little and put aside, and when the work is done, it will be sent to the orphanage as meat. During this period, Jerk demonstrated and talked about handling different parts of prey. Joju absorbed it hungrily. After an hour, Jerk finished his work in a daze and went to wash his hands in the sink. He didn't understand, how could someone learn things so quickly? In just over a month, Jerk felt as if he had been hollowed out, and all the knowledge he had learned was lost to Joju. It was originally thought that it would take one to three years before Joju could walk alone in the forest. Advertisement. Unexpectedly, only one month later, Joju would be walking in and out of the forest alone. Every time, I brought back a lot of gains. Compared to when he was 13 years old, Jerk felt as if he had lived like a dog. Damn it, no wonder the split was decided at 8 colon 2. It turned out that he was confident in his own learning ability. Jerk muttered to himself. He was so prepared that he even took Joju into the forest once. After one time, Joju no longer needed him to lead the way. His grandma's, the 28% split was only used once. What a big loss, what a big loss. Jerk frowned and murmured heartbrokenly. The other side, Joju sent the remaining, low-value prey to orphanages as meat and kept most of the money from selling high-value prey. As of today, he has given the orphanage 5 million kinney in cash. While Dean Onlay was happy, he also sighed in his heart. He knew that the time for Joju to leave was not far away. At noon, Joju and Jerk, who had put themselves in good spirits, arrived at Coco Shi Western Restaurant on time. Welcome both of you. The housekeeper was waiting at the door. When he saw Joju and Jerk, he immediately smiled. The venue has been reserved for today by my master. You two can just go in directly. The butler said and opened the door for them. Joju and Jerk walked in immediately. In the restaurant. Advertisement. A luxurious decoration. The tables and chairs are exquisite. The floor is as clear as a wash. Jewelry like chandeliers hang from the ceiling, and the surrounding floor to ceiling windows are hung with elegant curtains. In the center of the restaurant, there is also a small stage with a piano. And around. The young waiters smiled and folded their hands in front of them, respectfully greeting Joju and Jerk who walked in. Hiss. Jerk started to gasp as soon as he entered the restaurant. He has never seen such a luxurious place in his life. The exquisite tableware and a pair of chopsticks on the dining table were equivalent to his annual income. Jerk's aura was completely suppressed, his usual boldness was gone, and he rubbed his fingers together nervously. Boy, I'm a little weak. He leaned into Joju's ear uneasily and spoke. Climb. Joju pushed him away in disgust and walked to a table in the center of the restaurant with a calm expression. On that table, a man in his fifties with slightly yellowish hair and a slightly overweight figure was sitting in a close-fitting suit. There was a long beige scarf hanging around his neck, and a ring on his finger. The ring was a pebble-sized gem that was shining brightly. This outfit alone is worth a lot of money. Mr. Palladium. Joju walked over and asked the man. It's me. The man smiled and extended his hand in a gesture of invitation. Please sit down, Mr. Joju, and Mr. Jerk. He smiled and looked at Jerk who took a few steps behind. Joju calmly pulled out his chair and sat opposite the man. Jerk swallowed and sat timidly next to Joju. When he sat down, he looked at his pants with some worry. Afraid of staining the clean chair with his old pants. Advertisement. Does Mr. Joju have any taboos? Palladium didn't care about Jerk's cowardice, but looked at Joju curiously. This boy is obviously only 13 years old, but he is mature and calm beyond his years. He could see that Joju was really calm. It seemed that everything in front of him, these luxurious decorations and the upscale atmosphere, could not make the young man feel the slightest fluctuation in his heart. Neither Jerk nor I have any dietary restrictions, our tastes tend to be salty. Joju answered in a relaxed tone. As he spoke, he snapped his fingers to summon the waiter waiting in the distance. Sir, a waiter came over with a smile. Is there any white wine? Joju asked skillfully, give me a glass. I want something with a stronger fruity aroma. I'll give you a bottle of brandy by the way. Joju's last sentence pointed at Jerk. Okay, sir. The waiter bowed and stepped back. Not long after, white wine and brandy arrived. Joju dismissed the waiter's service, poured himself a drink, and handed the brandy to Jerk. Jerk stared blankly until he got the brandy and subconsciously took a few sips. In an instant, a high concentration of alcohol entered his throat. Jerk quickly entered a tipsy state, his tension subsided a lot, and his sitting posture became much more relaxed. Mr. Joju seems to have an extraordinary background. Palladium looked at all this with a strange look on his face. How are ordinary people so familiar with the style of Western restaurants? Not to mention that Joju is just a 13-year-old child. Without the influence of the family environment, it would be impossible to be so familiar and calm. Please give me flowers. Ask for a rating vote. Happy reading during the Qingming Festival outing? Recharge 100 and get 500 VIP points? Grab a deposit now. Activity time, April 4th to April 6th. Advertisement. Chapter 21 The Gloomy Deer, 1 5th. Advertisement. It's not important. Joju took a sip of white wine and looked nostalgic. In his previous life, he liked to drink lightly fruity drinks. Really, that's not the important thing. Palladium smiled politely and did not test or inquire. He just waved his hand in the distance and said, Go and tell the chef that the guest's taste is salty, and you can start preparing lunch. In the distance, a waiter bowed and walked quickly to the kitchen. Not long after, pre-dinner bread was served. Joju eats slowly. He now eats a lot. One meal is twice as big as an adult, and he eats five times a day. A little pre-dinner bread is not enough to stuff between teeth. Jerk followed suit and stumblingly ate the bread. Mr. Joju should have guessed my purpose of coming. Palladium smiled, and his tone was still respectful even when facing a young man several times younger than himself. Hunt some kind of prey. Joju nodded, this is what I'm best at. Yes, a deer, named Yu's deer. Palladium said, the deer of dark color? Next to him, Jerk was stunned and asked doubtfully, isn't that a legend? It's a legend, but it's also true. 
Palladium's expression became serious and he said, When I was young, I once saw that deer from a distance in the mountains. That beautiful posture is still vivid in my mind. Jerk couldn't help but be stunned. Have you actually seen a creature that only appears in legends? Palladium answered Jerk's doubts, then turned to Joju and continued to say, The gloomy deer, also known as the ghost deer, is a legend here and has a history of more than 200 years. Legend has it that during extremely cold winters, a deer will appear that shines with cyan light and its horns look like a growing fluorescent plant. It will guide the wind and snow and bring death to living things. He knew that Joju was not a local, so he told the legend clearly. Joju listened with interest. Advertisement. From the origin of the legend, to the specific appearance, and the places that have appeared in history, Palladium told them one by one. The intelligence was collected in great detail. During this period, the main dishes were served one after another, and Joju listened while eating. He probably knew it. This should be a unique and dangerous creature in the hunter world. Although I don't know if I have mastery Nian, I definitely have special power. There are records of the gloomy deer appearing several times in history and taking away the lives of all the villagers in nearby villages, but the most recent one was 70 years ago, and most of the people who knew about it have died. Palladium hired Joju to hunt the silk deer and get him the beautiful antlers like fluorescent plants on his head. The employment amount is 50 million ringmini. But Mr. Palladium, according to legend, the gloomy deer will only appear in particularly cold winters. Jerk was a little confused and asked, why are you sure it is this winter? And why Joju? With your financial resources, you should be able to hire more people to hunt the gloomy deer, right? This is a question for Joju. Joju listened and looked at Palladium. Because this year a white angel bird is flying here. Palladium replied calmly, this kind of bird will only come with the cold current when the extreme western cold current spreads here, so this winter will be extremely cold, and the last time I saw the gloomy deer, it's winter when the Angelica comes. He spoke for a moment and looked at Joju seriously. The reason why I hired Mr. Joju is because I know that Mr. Joju owns Nan. Otherwise, a 13-year-old boy wouldn't be able to hunt a wolf. Palladium's eyes showed eagerness. He knows a lot of things and is aware of Nan's existence. Ordinary people can't even see the used deer, let alone hunting. The cold weather will stop them in their tracks. Only a particularly strong person can find the deer of dark color. Only a very strong person can hunt it. Advertisement. Palladium smiled and concluded, that's why I ask you, Mr. Joju. These words answered all the doubts. Joju has no doubts anymore. He thought for a moment, nodded and accepted the commission, okay, I will try to hunt it. Thank you so much. Palladium breathed a sigh of relief and smiled happily, the extreme western cold wave only comes once every 20 or 30 years. I am already 58 years old. If I miss this time, I may not be able to wait for the next appearance of the gloomy deer. When Jerk saw Joju accepted the job, he said nothing. The three of them finished chatting about business, finished lunch, and left. Before leaving, the butler presented six meal coupons. With the meal coupon, you can enjoy the restaurant's chef's set menu for free once. This is a little greeting gift from Mr. Palladium to the two of you, the butler said. Joju and Jerk naturally accepted it. This amount of money is nothing to Palladium. Leave the restaurant. Joju went directly to Jerk's house to pack up the supplies for the mountain. Wait a minute, you plan to go into the mountains now. Jerk was stunned and said in surprise, it's just autumn, and there are still more than two months before winter. I'm not used to staying here. Joju shook his head. Jerk was suddenly surprised. Not used to it? He watched in confusion as Joju packed up his belongings and turned around to walk out of his house. Jerk, ask someone to send me supplies every half month, and I will give you the prey. Joju said outside the house. Advertisement. Okay. Jerk agreed. Then, goodbye. Joju waved and left with a chuckle. Jerk looked at his back and frowned tightly. Leave town. Through a whole forest. Joju came to the mountain deep in the forest at dusk. He randomly found a big tree, put his belongings on the branches, put his backpack on his pillow, and planned to rest early. The air in the mountains is refreshing. Silence. Occasionally, some insects and birds chirp, but they rise and fall suddenly, adding to the loneliness. No trace of human society can be found in the mountains. There is no smoke, no sound, no comfortable residence, no convenient facilities. Being in the mountains, Joju seems to have entered a strange world. Uneasiness, anxiety, loneliness. None of these. Instead, he became extremely excited. This strange environment and this unknown feeling made him particularly happy and delighted. And in towns, although safe, it is very boring. You can only practice swordsmanship once a day and practice practice once a day, that's all. In other respects, I can't let go at all. It's as if a person is wearing clothes that are several sizes too small and feels constrained in everything he does. Happy reading during the Qingming Festival outing? Recharge 100 and get 500 VIP points? Grab a deposit now, activity time, April 4th to April 6th. Advertisement. Chapter 22, going into the mountains to practice, two-fifths. Advertisement. Trial. Joju couldn't help but ponder. His thoughts about the oath became a little clearer. Half a month from now, Joju wanders around the mountains, sometimes wielding a knife, sometimes transforming into an orc, unleashing his nature to his heart's content. He learns how animals survive in the forest. Every time I identify an edible plant, I will be happy for a long time. The clothes on his body were also torn and unused. The hair and beard are getting longer, and there are more stains on the fair skin. But his eyes are still bright. By the time the agreed time to deliver supplies arrived, Joju had already turned into a sloppy look, with only a cloth tied around her waist to cover her body, and the rest of her body was completely exposed. Joju himself didn't take it seriously. Of course, he did not forget to recharge the bronze door every day. However, after each trial, more chi is needed to fill the bronze door. Joju still injects one third of the chi every day, but it is estimated that it will take three or four months to fully fill the bronze door and then start the third trial. Let's get the supplies first. Joju was not in a hurry and strolled down the mountain and through the forest to the agreed upon location. Over there, four people were already waiting with a large amount of supplies. Did he really live alone in the mountains for half a month? Oh my god, it's incredible. Advertisement. Yet, yeah, it's hard to imagine life without hot water, a bed, and delicious food. Among the four people, three unfamiliar faces discussed in surprise. The other person is jerk. 
He looked at the forest with some worry, fearing that something would happen to Joju. Living alone in the mountains, loneliness can drive people crazy. Not to mention the inconveniences caused by losing living facilities. If you are injured or sick, it will be even more troublesome. In the wild, it is easy to get infected and have a bad stomach. If something happens, you will have to fight hard. Also, it is difficult to find a safe place to rest. The natural world is full of threats. My nerves are tense almost 24 hours a day. Don't get into trouble, kid. Jerk said secretly in his heart. Uh-huh. Suddenly, a figure quickly ran through the branches and leaves and ran out of the forest. Who? Jerk and the other three were shocked. Hey, it's me. Joju stopped in front of them and waved hello with a smile, long time no see, jerk. You kid. Jerk glared at Joju dissatisfied. This kid always scares him? While he was angry, Jerk was also observing Joju. He felt relieved when he saw that although Joju's clothes were in tatters and her body was dirty, she was in good spirits and her eyes were bright and alert. Moreover, no wounds were seen, and the muscles of the body were not shriveled up. This shows that Joju is doing well. I brought the supplies to you. Jerk was saying when he suddenly felt something was wrong and looked up at Joju again. Wrong? Advertisement. How can a person live well after being alone in the forest for half a month? Ah, thank you so much. Joju was already smiling and flipping through the pile of supplies he had brought. Jerk looked at him blankly, his expression dull. He was surprised to find that Joju had an indescribable smell, like a strange feeling of independence and separation from society. Jerk was greatly surprised. Shouldn't the mountain environment consume people's energy and physical strength, making them weak and tired? Why is this kid getting more powerful? Could it be that the mountains are your whetstone? Jerk couldn't help but think this way. This way, Joju has dug out all the supplies. New katana swords, shovels, daggers, spices, soaps, as well as health kits and a variety of common medicines. However, he was unheard and had no need for medicine or medical kits. From now on, I will bring you these things every half month. Jerk said, pointing to the three teenagers standing a little stiffly next to him. My legs and feet are not good. From now on, these three children will deliver supplies to you. They are the children of my old friends and they also want to be hunters. Hello. Joju gave the three of them a friendly smile. That time when he became the Alpha Wolf, his and Jerk's reputations were completely established. Many people want to send their children to Jerk to learn to be hunters. These three should be the apprentices chosen by Jerk. Come and walk with me. Seeing Joju finish reading the supplies, Jerk stood up and walked aside. Joju followed. The two walked side by side. The three apprentices stayed where they were and did not follow. Advertisement. Onle misses you. Jerk said, I know. Joju nodded. He knew it without thinking, but I will always leave. So you don't want to see Onlay and the others? Jerk asked with a frown. Many young people always leave early or quietly because they don't want to see the sadness of separation. As everyone knows, not being able to say goodbye properly is the most hurtful thing. No, it has nothing to do with this. Joju shook his head, looked down at one of his palms, and muttered, I do it for practice. In life in the mountains, peace is short-lived. Most of the time, you have to tighten your nerves and be careful of all kinds of poisonous snakes. There are poisonous insects, forked roads, sharp rocks, and you have to be prepared for wild beast attacks when you sleep at night. This kind of tight life can easily make people physically and mentally exhausted. It stands to reason that humans are accustomed to a peaceful environment and should not be able to adapt to survival in the wild. But I take it as normal, as if this is normal life, it's so strange. Joju frowned as he spoke. Hearing this, Jerk couldn't help but frown. Is your boy a born masochist? How could someone not like a peaceful life, but prefer the dangerous wilderness? Boy, you. Jerk didn't know how to speak. He was worried that Joju had some mental illness. Don't worry. Joju waved his hand and smiled in a relaxed tone. This is part of my practice. It will be fine when I figure out why. Okay. Jerk was silent for a moment and changed the topic. He told Joju about the situation in the orphanage in the past half month. The two chatted for half an hour. Joju threw the two muddy herbs in his pants to Jerk and left with the supplies. His, zebra, mantolo leaves, are there such good things in the mountains? Jerk looked at the two herbs in surprise, this can sell for at least 300,000 ring nuns. Happy reading during the Qingming festival outing? Recharge 100 and get 500 VIP points? Grab a deposit now, activity time, April 4th to April 6th. Advertisement. Chapter 23 Use your claws to perform sword skills? Three-fifths. Advertisement. Autumn passes and winter comes. The temperature dropped and the weather became gloomy. From the far west, a cold current blew, bringing heavy snow and cold wind. The mountains are covered with snow. Joju stepped on the snow with one foot deep and one foot shallow. When he breathed, a faint white mist came out of his mouth and nose. As soon as the white mist left the body, it froze into ice flowers and fell to the ground. The cold current from the extreme west is coming, and the Angelica bird has also appeared. Holding a knife and wearing thick clothing, Joju followed the traces of the deer. Where's the gloomy deer? It is said that when the used deer appears, it will attract the deer herd to follow and follow. It is the king of the deer herd. So, if you follow the herd of deer, you should be able to find the used deer. Joju thought. He climbed a mountain and looked out from a distance. A few hundred meters away, on the mountainside of another mountain, groups of elk, sika deer, reindeer, moose, various species of deer gathered together and climbed the mountain. And on the top of this high mountain, a light blue figure stood proudly in the wind and snow. Joju looked startled when he saw this figure. He was struck by the beauty of the figure. It was a light blue reindeer. Its tall and slender figure seemed to be the most graceful lines in the world, full of agile beauty. Its head has antlers as dense as branches and leaves. There are leaves hanging from the corners, glowing with light fluorescence, like luminous plants in the underground world, giving people a unique feeling of mystery and fantasy. Found it so easily. Joju looked at this figure in surprise and couldn't believe it. But after thinking about it, he felt it was reasonable. This place is already 10 kilometers away from the town, deep in the mountains, inaccessible, and only powerful beasts can survive. Coupled with the heavy snow and cold winter, roads were closed, and the temperature dropped to more than 20 degrees below zero. Normal people would not enter the mountains and forests. Joju also relies on Chi to maintain his mobility. Advertisement. Then, the gloomy deer, here I come. Joju smiled, no longer saving energy, walked down the mountain quickly, and then rushed up the mountain where Yuzlu was. He ran hard, swinging his limbs wildly. Through exercise, the body is completely warmed up. Yo-yo. On the top of the mountain, there seemed to be a hollow and distant sound of deer roaring. 
Joju looked up from time to time, and he was surprised to find that Yuzla had clearly noticed him, but did not run away, but was waiting for his arrival on the top of the mountain. So confident. Joju was a little confused, and he ran up the mountain where Yuzla was. Along the way, we passed countless common deer slowly climbing up the mountain. When he reached the top of the mountain and was within 200 meters of Yuzla, Joju's footsteps suddenly stopped. Huh. He let out a light sigh and looked at Yuzlu in surprise. The temperature has dropped again. Not because of the altitude, but because of the proximity to you guy. Do you have the power to manipulate cold? Joju smiled and pulled out the knife. Clang? The refined hundred forged sword jumped out of the scabbard like a flash of cold light. Yo, ahead, the Yuzlu let out a soft groan. The surrounding deer that had gone up the mountain first gathered around and attacked Joju. Whoosh, several moose charged and stabbed Joju with their sharp horns. Joju moved a step to the left, ducked sideways, passed through the gap between the three moose, and at the same time drew out the knife in his hand. Pfft. A pile of hot blood with a fishy smell spilled out and instantly condensed into blood ice. Advertisement. Behind him, two moose had their necks cut open and fell to the ground. Call out. Joju flipped the blade and stabbed back gently. The third moose had just turned around and was about to launch a second charge at Joju, but the blade pierced his eye and pierced his brain and died. It's troublesome. Joju withdrew the knife, flicked off the blood ice on it, and frowned slightly. In front of him, there were nearly 200 deer. On the mountainside, more than 500 deer were climbing up. Yuzlo can actually control and command the deer, which makes Joju feel troubled. The closer I get to Yuzlo, the cooler the temperature becomes. The harsh low temperature limits my mobility. The deer are standing between me and the used deer. They are airtight and there is no way to cross. What should I do? Are we going to kill the deer one by one? As soon as Joju had an idea, he immediately shook his head. Doesn't work. Although he has enough physical strength and chi, if he really wants to do that, the knife will definitely have to be scrapped. In a low temperature environment, metal is very easy to fatigue and break. Unless he uses Joe on the knife. But he was still very crude with this technique, and using Joe on such a long knife was very distracting. Etc. Joju suddenly had a flash of lightning. What if you don't use Joe on the knife? He lowered his head and looked at his fingers. What is swordsmanship? The essence of swordsmanship is the skill of using sharp weapons. Putting aside those cultural, spiritual, and etiquette parts, in fact, it is to let people learn to kill people more efficiently with sharp weapons. Aren't his nails also a kind of sharp weapon? So, why not use the sharp claws of the half-orc state as a sword and use the flying swordsmanship? If you use Joe on the sharp claw, it will save more effort, right? Advertisement. Joju had a sudden enlightenment. If you do this, you can also superimpose the swordsmanship and the power of the orcs and use them together, which is equivalent to Ultra Mantiga's composite posture. Yo, the Yuzlu barked again. Da da da. This time, more than 20 moose formed a line and charged towards Joju without leaving any space. Ha ha ha, come on. Joju laughed and threw the knife aside. Next moment, three quarters of his chi disappeared. Click click click. The joints crackled, and Joju's body suddenly grew taller, growing extra thick hair, fangs, and claws, and his body expanded to two meters tall. Cruel wild dog, use it for extra energy. Joju gets thicker, thicker, warmer hair. He whirled his sharp claws and wrapped his chi around his claws. He stepped forward, splashing a snowflake, and his figure shot forward. Swish, swish, swish. Joju jumped on each moose, and the giant antlers of the other animals became a tool for him to use force, allowing him to jump, swing, or pounce, passing through a whole row of moose in the blink of an eye. Poof. After Joju passed by, a whole row of moose fell to the ground, blood spraying from their necks. These wounds may be deep or shallow, with varying angles and force. It looked like a random scratch, but Joju had a thoughtful look on his face, and flashes of light came into his mind. Yo, the gloomy deer barked again, and this time the sound was a little more impatient. Joju grinned and jumped straight into the deer before they could charge him. Happy reading during the Qingming Festival outing? Recharge 100 and get 500 VIP points? Grab a deposit now, activity time, April 4th to April 6th. Advertisement. Chapter 24, Eating the Heart of Yu's Deer, Four Fifths. Advertisement. I saw a gray shadow passing through the gap in the forest, running nimbly among the deer. One second he was holding the moose by its horns, and the next second he pounced on the sicka deer next to him and tore open its neck with his claws. The next moment, another reindeer lurked in the distance, and his fingertips scratched its neck, cutting off the blood vessels under the skin. In the blink of an eye, Joju disappeared again. When he reappeared, he had already stepped on several reindeer and walked over them. The sharp claws were swung out calmly with the movement. After Joju left, the five reindeer in that position fell to the ground one after another. Gradually, Joju's movements are becoming more and more proficient, and his moves are becoming more and more silky. His claws seemed to have turned into two sharp swords, cutting, stabbing or slashing, displaying various exquisite sword skills. The scene was too bizarre to be true. A sword is a sword, how can it be said that the claws are also sharp weapons and the claws can be used as swords? This is gangster logic. If it were really that simple, there wouldn't be any separate swordsmanship schools. Anyway, the sharp weapon is the sword. Can't everyone pick up a kitchen knife and just chop people? This is of course impossible, but Joju did it. With the half-orc's familiarity with the wolf's habits, and the master-level swordsmanship of Fiwaryu in his mind, the two came together to create a wonderful chemical reaction. This change made Joju begin to dismantle Filio's swordsmanship. Combine it with the attack method of the half-orc posture to form a new swordsmanship move. Sanhua Yin of the Moon. Joju's movement suddenly became gentle, and her arms were like the palms of lovers, caressing the chins of several elk. Puff puff. Three blood flowers burst out from the lower throats of the three elk. Mi Guang Manshan. Joju folded his hands in front of him, crossed his fingers, and then suddenly separated them. His sharp claws pulled hard to the left and right sides, as if to tear something apart. Advertisement. Stab. The eyes of the two moose in front of them were instantly shattered, and their entire faces were scratched by sharp claws. Yo, yo, the dark-colored deer in front made a quick cry. It was the first time it encountered such a powerful human being, and it could easily kill the deer under its command just like chopping melons and vegetables. It began to panic and ordered the remaining deer to rush forward together. Use quantity to crush Joju to death. Whoosh whoosh, but Joju was extremely flexible, jumping and running on each deer, and the crowding of deer reduced the threat. This guy is not good at fighting. Joju gave Yuzlu a poor evaluation in his heart. At the same time, his movements will become more refined. 
He didn't have to slit the deer's throat with every blow, he just had to hit the vital spots, such as eyes, foot joints, soft abdomen, etc. Just a little injury is enough to make an ordinary deer incapacitated in this harsh environment of extremely low temperatures. Puff puff. The muffled sound of sharp claws digging into flesh was like fireworks that would never stop. Ten minutes later, Joju jumped down from the last standing deer, and all the deer behind him fell down, staining the ground with blood. His body was inevitably stained with a lot of deer blood. This deer blood, because Joju's body temperature remains liquid, exudes a strong fishy smell. Joju flicked his claws, flicked off the meat stuck to them, and walked towards Yuzlu. 50 meters. 40 meters. 30 meters. Advertisement. The closer you get to Yuzla, the cooler the temperature becomes. When Joju walked up to Yuz deer, the temperature had dropped to the extreme. All the deer blood on his body had frozen into ice crystals, and his hair was frozen as hard as iron. At the same time, a strange warm feeling surged throughout my body. This is a false and abnormal heat signal produced by the hypothalamic body after extreme hypothermia. It's a sign of death. But Joju has thick hair and a lot of chi. Despite the double defense, he was still so cold that his central nervous system went insane. If it were an ordinary person, he would probably freeze to death long ago. No wonder you became a legend, no wonder you bring death to living things. Joju's eyes flashed with realization, and as he spoke, cold air flowed into his mouth, causing rapid frostbite to his mouth and throat. He didn't care. Frostbite is not a big problem. Yo, yo, Yuzlu's eyes were filled with fear and he shouted angrily at Joju. Poof, Joju's arm suddenly popped out, as fast as a spring, and the sharp claws instantly penetrated the abdomen of the Yuzlu, tearing out its heart. Yo, Yuzlu suddenly froze and fell down weakly. Drop, drop, drop. Drops of light cyan, fluorescent, strange blood dripped on the snow. Where the blood fell, the snowflakes instantly solidified, condensing from a loose structure into an extremely hard ice crystal. Is there power in the blood? Joju looked at it in surprise, tore out the heart and put it in his hand to examine. This is a strange indigo-colored heart. Even if its blood vessels are torn off, it is still squirming gently and possesses amazing vitality. The shape of the heart is very strange, very straight. When you put it in your hand, it looks like a strange ore that emits indigo light, completely transparent. Advertisement. The ore squirms slightly, as if it is alive, breathing gently. Looking at this heart, Joju suddenly felt a strong desire. His throat moved and saliva secreted profusely. The heart in his hand was like some rare delicacy, giving him a strong desire to devour it, as if every cell in his body was sending a signal of desire. In times like this, it's just right to follow your instincts. Joju muttered to himself, raised his hand, and put his heart into his mouth. Click. The texture is very crispy, like eating crispy bread on the outside, but the inside is tender and meaty, full of sweet gravy. The gravy mixed with saliva creates an indescribable deliciousness. Gilu, Joju chewed it a few times and swallowed it eagerly. Suddenly, a cool feeling appeared in the stomach, and then quickly spread throughout the body. Eh. Joju suddenly felt that the temperature around him dropped a lot. No, that's not right. The temperature hasn't changed, it's my body temperature that has dropped. Joju leaned down and grabbed a handful of snow. Normally, holding a snowflake in your hand should feel bitingly cold. But Joju only felt slightly cold. He experimented many times, such as touching ice crystals, taking a deep breath of cold air, or standing still. After many attempts, Joju finally confirmed. My resistance to cold has improved. Happy reading during the Qingming Festival outing? Recharge 100 and get 500 VIP points? Grab a deposit now, activity time, April 4th to April 6th. Advertisement. Chapter 25 I want to give you 100 million nuns? Five fifths. Advertisement. Joju looked at the Yuzlo on the ground in surprise. Does the heart of this strange creature actually have such an effect? As expected of the hunter world, Joju couldn't help but admire. It's just a remote town, and an ordinary folklore. Behind it is a dark-colored deer that can increase people's resistance to cold. Then there must be more rare creatures in the wider world outside. Ah, uh, I suddenly have strong expectations for the future journey. Joju smiled. He lowered his head and grabbed a handful of snow to seal the wound of Yuzlu. Then put it on your shoulders and turn around to go down the mountain. On the mountainside, the herd of deer stared at Joju with humanized fear in their eyes, and none of them dared to go up. I can only watch Joju leave. With the death of Yuzla, the surrounding affected temperature gradually recovered, from minus 50 to 60 degrees to the normal minus 20 degrees. Heavy snow in late winter. The streets of Shanksheng City were silent. Everyone stayed in the warm house and warmed themselves by the fire. The same is true for the wealthy businessman Palladium. He was sitting by the fireplace in his magnificent home, smelling the faint fragrance of the roasted pine wood, but his thoughts drifted outside the town. Can I hunt it, the deer of dark color? Palladium looked worried. Under the influence of the extreme western cold current, this winter is extremely cold, and people freeze to death every day in the city. The environment in the mountains has become even colder. Advertisement. In the snow-covered mountains, he couldn't even warm himself up by the fire, so he had to rely on his body to resist the low temperature. Although Mr. Joju is a strong person, he can't resist the harsh low temperature, right? Palladium said to himself worriedly. He tried to hire people to go into the mountains and help Joju hunt the used deer, but no one wants to go. Going into the mountains in the middle of winter is a complete dead end. Even the most fearless man among the gangs refused the Palladium's commission. They are not afraid of death, but they are not actively seeking death. Well, Palladium sighed and was thinking about whether to spend a lot of money to hire people to open a passage into the mountain and build shelters along the way. Sudden, his butler came over happily and reported, Mr. Palladium, Mr. Joju is back. He's back with the gloomy deer. Palladium was stunned at first, then ecstatic. He threw away the things in his hands, took off his shoes, and ran to the hall outside impatiently. Tap, tap, tap. A young man covered in wind and snow walked into the hall carrying a deer with a light blue light all over his body. This is the gloomy deer that Mr. Palladium wants. He really did it. This is a strange creature that lives in the cold currents of the mountains. How did he withstand sub-zero temperatures? The servants and guards of the Palladium family were shocked. They have served the Palladium for many years and know very well the information about the gloomy deer, which is a creature that can only operate in extremely cold environments with extremely low temperatures. In the winter of normal years, the temperature is horribly low. Advertisement. This year is the winter under the cold current in the extreme west, and the temperature is even more hopelessly low. Even a well-equipped and experienced team would have difficulty passing through the forest. 
It is even said that it goes deep into the mountains behind the forest? Mr. Palladium, this should be what you want, right? Joju didn't care about the eyes of others, threw Yuzlu to the ground, and asked Palladium with a smile. Palladium took a deep breath and held it. He stepped forward quickly, his eyes widened, and he carefully observed the strange reindeer that was still glowing with blue even after death. Its hair is smooth and its body is graceful. The horns on the head are covered with strands of branches, like a pair of dense plants. That's right, that's it, Mr. Palladium said in surprise. This was exactly the dark-colored deer he had dreamed of. Then, the commission is completed, Joju said with a smile. Of course, Mr. Palladium tried his best to move his eyes away and looked at Joju, his face flushed with excitement and said, The 50 million kainai will be paid immediately. No, I'll give you 100 million renunciation. You brought me a complete body, and the wound was made on the abdomen that does not affect the appearance. 50 million is just the price of antlers, a complete body is worth more money. Palladium was overjoyed and immediately asked the butler to prepare cash. 100 million nuns is not a small amount. But for Palladium, if you can get what you want, 100 million nihad is more than worth it. Also, prepare hot water, food, and a room for Mr. Joju. Palladium had a bright smile on his face, held Joju's hand firmly, and said eagerly, Mr. Joju, please stay at my house for a few more days, so that I can express my gratitude. That's what I asked for. Joju agreed with a smile. Not long after, the housekeeper said that everything was ready and led the way for Joju. Palladium, on the other hand, can't wait to have the gloomy deer sent to the specimen room. He wants the most skilled person to make it into a specimen. Advertisement. Ah, by the way, Mr. Palladium, the blood and meat of the gloomy deer will increase some cold resistance if consumed. Joju reminded before leaving. Palladium's eyes suddenly lit up when he heard this. He didn't expect such an unexpected gain. For older people, winter can be difficult. If you can gain cold resistance, you might be able to live a few more years. Thank you for informing me, Mr. Joju. Palladium smiled and nodded. Joju smiled politely and followed the housekeeper to enjoy a hot bath and delicious food. Next week, Joju stayed at Palladium's home, enjoying good food and wine, and occasionally going to the chess and card room to relax physically and mentally. Call, the cold wind blew outside the window, bringing up the snow and wind. The temperature has reached minus 10 degrees. Even a cup of hot water will freeze into ice if left outside for a few minutes. But the figure of a young man, wearing summer short-sleeved shorts, was walking in the wind and snow as if nothing happened. He even had time to enjoy the snowy scenery in winter. The cold resistance that the silent deer gave me is really amazing. The young man sighed. He was none other than Joju who had been resting for a week. Now, he is walking in the wind and snow wearing a t-shirt and shorts, and he doesn't feel cold. Taking a cold shower just feels a little refreshing. Palladium also ate part of the blood and meat of the used deer, but the effect was not that good. He just felt a lot warmer, and would make him sweat when he slept under a thin quilt at night. Apparently, eating the heart is better. Begging for flowers? Rate the vote? Happy reading during the Qingming Festival outing? Recharge 100 and get 500 VIP points? Grab a deposit now. Activity time, April 4th to April 6th. Advertisement. Chapter 26 The Life Chasing Wolf, and the Third Trial. One fifth. Advertisement. 100 million ring and I, cold resistance. This harvest is surprising. Joju was in the backyard of Palladium's house, looking into the distance with a thoughtful look on his face. I've been planning on it all. I've been in the mountains for four months in order to hunt the gloomy deer. In these four months, work begins at sunrise and rests at sunset. Confronting the harsh natural environment and fighting various beasts and beasts every day, my chi and then have also grown considerably. Joju murmured to himself. At this moment, a layer of rich white air wrapped around his body. This is his chi. Four months ago, the chi wrapped around my body was just a shallow stream. Now, it is a gurgling river. If we use numbers to quantify it, the chi four months ago was equivalent to three, and the chi now is five. Compared to when he first traveled through time and awakened then, the energy volume has increased by a full four times, improved from one to five. This is also the result of my consistent exercise and the use of practice. Joju smiled slightly, feeling quite proud. He never relaxed. And, there are additional gains. Joju thought about it, ended today's walk, and returned to the house. He entered the room assigned to him, closed the door, locked it, and then stood in an empty space in the room. Swish. A quarter of the energy in his body disappeared instantly. Click. Joju's body made a crisp sound, his joints grew, his muscles expanded, and thick hair grew on his skin. In the blink of an eye, he turned into a 2 meter 3 meter tall werewolf with a stern face. Yes, werewolves. With his continuous training, the cruel wild dog was promoted to the death chasing wolf. Wolf chasing life. Enhancer and consumes a quarter of one's total energy to gain physical strength, grow fangs, claws, hair, and a tail, transforming into a half-orc state. Advertisement. You can end an actively, or you can end it forcibly when both physical strength and energy are exhausted. The overall effect hasn't changed much, but the strength has improved a lot. Just like the lower level burnt fruit, it became the upper level lava fruit. Joju's current half-orc state has twice as much strength, speed, physique, dexterity, etc. as before. The sharp claws can not only cut through wooden boards, but also scratch through concrete walls. The hair is also finer and can cut through attacks from most sharp weapons. At the same time, the muscles are extremely strong. If an ordinary person's fist hits him, it will be like hitting a stone. Joju will be fine, but ordinary people will have red and swollen fists. Other than that, there are changes in appearance. The hair is no longer yellow-black, but has turned gray-blue, and the face is more like an animal than a human face. The ears also appear partially elongated. Overall, it looks 90% similar to the Yakos wolf in the eastern forest. Joju does not deny this. He has indeed been deeply influenced by the wolves. Oh, your sense of smell and hearing have also been strengthened. Joju entered the life-seeking wolf form and suddenly smelled various subtle smells in the air. The perfume in the corner, the spice in the sofa, the wood smell in the cabinet, etc. At the same time, he heard the footsteps and conversations of servants downstairs. It's really good. Joju looked happy, his strength had improved a lot. Death Chasing Wolf is almost an all-round improvement compared to various wild dog, Nian, it is indeed a strange ability. It actually changes according to the awakened person's thoughts. In Joju's mind, there was more or less the idea of strengthening the cruel wild dog. 
just like Biscuit in the original work, because he disliked his muscles and wanted to become slimmer. Over the years, he actually gained the ability to transform into a slender girl. This is a striking example. The promotion of cruel wild dog to death chasing wolf is obviously the same. Nen, echoed Joju's thoughts. Advertisement. Swish. As soon as Joju thought, the hair, claws, tail, etc. all over his body disappeared instantly. He returned to his original clean and fresh self. However, now he can hardly be called a boy. During the four months of training in the mountains, his height soared to over 1.7 meters. At the same time, he had strong muscles and a strong figure. The appearance changed from a boy to a young man. It doesn't matter what it looks like. Joju didn't pay attention to the change in appearance, but looked at the empty space in front of him with an expectant look. Endless trial? The idea of using Nen came into his mind. Suddenly, a simple bronze door appeared in front of him. Snapped. Joju slapped it up and injected the energy into it to complete today's charging. Almost at the same time, a wave of feedback came to mind. Charging completed. Haha. Ha. Joju smiled. After four months, charging was completed again. The third trial is about to begin. The next day, Joju enjoyed a sumptuous lunch from the Palladium Chef and returned to the room. Wait until digestion is over. He took hold of the katana, which was a weapon he commonly used and was familiar with. It met the conditions and could be brought into the trial. Bring it on. Joju murmured, and a simple bronze door appeared in front of him. Advertisement. He held the knife in his left hand, stretched out his right hand, and pushed open the door. Crunch. Along with the heavy sound of bearing rotation, the bronze door opened, and a large amount of light spewed out from inside. Joju instantly entered a semi-confused state. When you come back to your senses, he came to an abandoned village. Dilapidated houses, moss-covered stone steps, walls with many cracks. On the surface, this village has been abandoned for many years. There are no traces of human activity at all. Also at this time, Joju's eyebrows suddenly bulged, and she felt a pins and needles sensation. Without thinking, he drew his sword and swung it in a certain direction based on his intuition. Almost at the same time, a bullet was fired from behind the old house on the side. Boom, Joju's slash collided with the bullet. Dazzling sparks burst out. The blade was directly interrupted, and the jaws of Joju's hands were torn instantly, but the bullet also deviated from the trajectory and landed on the house on one side. Eh. The shooter screamed in surprise and seemed to be stunned by the sight of the knife-splitting bullets. This is almost impossible to do. The bullet exits the barrel faster than sound, reaching 900 meters slash second, while the speed of sound is only 340 meters slash second. Not to mention catching it with the naked eye, even the nerves can't react. The moment he heard the gunshot, he was already shot. Bang bang bang, the gunfire continued, three shots in a row. Joju retreated quickly, and his body suddenly and erratically turned several times, causing the bullet to hit the empty space. Happy reading during the Qingming Festival outing? Recharge 100 and get 500 VIP points? Grab a deposit now, activity time, April 4th to April 6th. Advertisement. Chapter 27, strategy is very important when fighting the Nin, two-fifths. Advertisement. Call out. While dodging, Joju threw the broken blade backhand. The shooter saw a flash of cold light, and in the blink of an eye, a sharp broken knife flew in front of his eyes. His expression changed slightly and he immediately lowered his body. Uh-huh. The broken knife was stuck in the wall behind him, the blade completely submerged, leaving only the handle outside. The man looked at the handle of the knife fearfully. What a strength. He is a terrifying guy. His strengths, speed, reflexes, intuition, experience, etc. are all mature and mature. He must have experienced a lot of battles. The superiors actually sent me such a list. Is this a warning to me? The sought-after whisper was not heard by Joju. At this time, Joju hid behind a dilapidated thatched hut, looking thoughtful and quickly frowning. I see. He murmured to himself, understanding in his eyes. This trial focuses on my shortcomings. I lack long-range attacks. Ha. Huh. Joju couldn't help but laugh, and couldn't help but feel happy. He noticed changes in himself. Since the first trial, I have been able to see myself more and more clearly, and it has become easier and easier to discover my weaknesses. It feels great. See yourself clearly and then surpass yourself. I really love this nun. Joju grinned. He took a deep breath and ran to the other side of the thatched house. During the movement, a quarter of the energy in his body suddenly disappeared. Death chasing wolf? Advertisement. Uh-huh. A two meter three meter tall werewolf with strong muscles, thick hair, and sharp teeth and claws jumped out from behind the thatched house. The werewolf moves extremely fast, running like a swift shadow. Swish, swish, swish. After a few ups and downs, we arrived outside the house where the gunman was. Whoosh. Joju grabbed a brick and threw it into the house. The dilapidated wall was instantly smashed, and the fragments flew all over the floor. What? The gunman inside the house was shocked, hurriedly avoiding the rubble, rolled on the spot, knocked open the ajar wooden door next to him, and ran out of the house. Once out of the house, the gunman squatted down and raised his gun, aiming the gun at Joju immediately. Werewolf. The gunman was stunned when he was about to pull the trigger. What he saw was not the young man just now, but a strong werewolf. Nurent. The gunman's eyes flashed and he couldn't help but frown. Men and women are a bunch of troublesome guys. The weak ones are no different from ordinary people, but the powerful ones can single-handedly defeat an elite team of more than ten people. The werewolf in front of me looks like a powerful one. Looking at this beastly state, he should be a type good at close combat, right? Jean Xiao thought to himself as he looked at Joju. At the same time, Joju is also using Ning to see the shooter. I saw strands of life energy escaping from the top of his head, not being bound by entanglement. It can be seen that the shooter is not a pervert. Although he is not a nerve, he has a gun, and its lethality is not weaker than that of an ordinary nerve. Joju glanced at the popular gun with a calm expression. Among the four elements, Tangle can bind life energy around the body. The strength of Tangle is equivalent to the defense strength against Nen. Advertisement. At the same time, there will also be some physical defense capabilities. Just not much. On the one hand, because Qi is loose. On the other hand, the Nin's Qi does not have much. At most, it is wrapped around the body like a gauze, which does not provide much physical defense. Only by using the firm technique to solidify Qi can one have considerable defensive power. 
but the elderly generally don't use it this way. Faced with hot weapons, they often choose to dodge instead of consuming chi to resist. My hardness is so-so, and the amount of chi is not much, which is equivalent to wearing a rattan armor. Joju thought in his heart, but if you include the defense power of the werewolf state, the two items are superimposed. The overall defensive power is quite impressive. The above thoughts only happen in a few seconds. The two stared at each other, and they spontaneously formed fighting strategies in their hearts. I can't let him get close, slash I want to keep distance from him. Boom, the gunman opened fire without warning. The skill of aiming intentionally and shooting unintentionally is mastered thoroughly. If Joju hadn't been paying attention to him, he wouldn't have been able to react. Uh-huh. As soon as the gunman started moving, Joju began to retreat. But it's too late. A soreness appeared in the lower right side of the abdomen. Joju touched it and saw blood flowing out. A bullet penetrated Chi and entered his abdomen. Bang bang bang. The gunman continued to shoot with extremely steady hands, aiming at Joju's abdomen, which is the largest area of his body. Swish, swish, swish. Joju kept dodging, and when he ran, he flickered like an afterimage. In a few seconds, he changed his position seven times. But he was still hit by bullets. Three blood flowers bloomed from the abdomen, right leg, and shoulder. The hot shot fired a total of five shots. Haha. <laughs> the gunman chuckled, moved more calmly, and continued to shoot at Joju. Advertisement. Boom, boom, boom. Joju kept dodging, but could only dodge half of the bullets. Flowers of blood kept blooming on his body. The smile on the gunman's face became more and more obvious. Until. Ding ding. Several bullets fell out of Joju's body and landed on the ground, making a crisp sound. The gunman's expression froze instantly. Did you just find out now? Joju smiled and said lightly, It seems that you are not used to fighting with the weak, I have been misleading you from the beginning, asking you to shoot me. As he spoke, several more bullets squeezed out of his wounds and fell to the ground. It has the defense of Tangle, as well as the tough fur and strong muscles in the werewolf state. These bullets couldn't penetrate his body at all. Instead, it was stuck in the muscles. You never thought about getting close to me. The gunman suddenly understood and looked at Joju in disbelief. He finally realized it. Just now, Joju had been wandering about 20 meters away from him, occasionally making moves to get close to him, but once he was shot by him, he simply gave up. The gunman thought his suppression was successful. Unexpectedly, it was Joju who did it on purpose. In the battle with Anan, strategy plays a big part. Joju stretched out his finger and tapped his head, I saw through your thoughts, but you didn't see through my thoughts, this is you the reason for defeat. Snort? The gunman snorted disdainfully, but these words could not shake his will. It's not like he hasn't experienced desperate situations. Happy reading during the Qingming Festival outing? Recharge 100 and get 500 VIP points? Grab a deposit now, activity time, April 4th to April 6th. Advertisement. Chapter 28 A Completely Seen Through Battle, 3 fifths. Advertisement. Tougher than a swordsman's will. Joju observed the gunman's expression and adjusted part of his mental battle plan. On the surface, he continued to use a frivolous tone and said, The distance between us now is 20 meters. At this distance, my defense is enough to withstand bullet damage. And your bullets are limited. Your attention, energy, and physical strength are also limited. As long as you empty the magazine, or make a mistake in judgment, and I happen to catch you, you will die. Joju stared at the gunman with a smile. The shooter's heart sank slightly, inevitably feeling pressured. This is a complete conspiracy. It's an irrefutable fact. Therefore, he had to admit that he was at a disadvantage. Don't be distracted, I'm here again. Joju's chuckle suddenly sounded from the right side of the gunman. The gunman's pupil shrank. After being briefly distracted, Joju seized the opportunity and rushed five meters away from him. Damn it. The gunman turned his wrist and fired directly. Boom. With his skillful shooting skills, the gunman hurriedly turned the gun and still aimed at Joju's head. Uh-huh. Joju suddenly turned around and slid sideways weirdly, as if he was skating. Some kind of special footwork. Seeing this, the gunman felt more pressure in his heart. But his expression remained unchanged, and his eyes did not waver at all. Boom. He continued to shoot. Boom. Boom. After three shots, his breathing became calmer and his whole body calmed down quickly. Sharp. Advertisement. Joju has been paying attention to the gunman's expression and secretly admired it in his heart. This will and character are extraordinary. Must be someone who has trained hard. Killer? Soldier? Mafia? Anyway, such people are definitely not just good at shooting. They must have superb fighting skills and cold weapon usage skills. Joju thought to himself. This gunman is more powerful than the swordsman. Although the swordsman has strong swordsmanship, there are still contents in his mind that have nothing to do with fighting, such as etiquette, culture, character, and chi cultivation. Because swordsmanship inevitably includes these contents. But this hotshot is different. The knowledge and skills he masters are purely for killing enemies. In the eyes of the gunman, the pistol will not be as important as his own life, and he will not be as desperate as the swordsman if the bullet is empty. The gunman will just throw away the gun and use another weapon without hesitation. Boom, boom, boom. The gunman fired calmly and steadily. Joju relied on his extraordinary speed and physical strength in the werewolf state to constantly dodge. At the same time, he picked up gravel on the ground with his backhand and threw it at the gunman, forcing the gunman to move in the same way. Use this to observe the shooter's movement and shooting habits. Call, call, call. Gradually, the gunman's breathing became rapid. Joju didn't even break a sweat. The difference in physical strength is obvious? No, I have to think of a way. The gunman's eyes flickered before he could come up with a suitable strategy. Uh-huh. In front of his eyes, an afterimage suddenly rushed towards him. The gunman was shocked, thinking that Joju would launch a fierce attack at this time. Bang bang bang. He quickly fired, aiming the gun at Joju's head, heart, and abdomen. Advertisement. But Joju seemed to have seen through it. He twisted and swayed his body while running, and dodged two bullets. Only the one that was shot in the abdomen grazed his waist. Out of three shots, only one worked. The gunman couldn't help but change his color. The shot that was fired was only a slight scratch. Yes, I have seen through your shooting habits. At this time, Joju had already arrived in front of the gunman. As if he knew the gunman's doubts at this time, he gave an explanation with a slight smile. Shit. The gunman yelled, raised his pistol without fear, and pointed it at Joju's head. Crack. Joju's arm popped out like a lover's palm, gently pressing on the gun and pushing the muzzle away. Boom. Flames erupted from the muzzle and bullets flew past Joju. Puff puff. 
At the same moment, several slender wounds burst open on the gunman's arm, and blood flew everywhere. Scattered flowers yin at the moon. What? The gunman was shocked. He had never seen such a move before. He didn't even understand what was going on, and the arm holding the gun was almost useless. But the gunman is also a ruthless character. He narrowed his eyes, let go and abandoned the gun, pulled out two black daggers from his waist with his back hand, held one hand forward and the other backward, staggered and slashed at Joju. Swish, swish, swish. The two daggers were like poisonous snakes, chasing Joju's neck to bite him. The moves are ruthless and full of murderous intent. Hee <laughs> hee. Joju looked calm and just smiled and greeted him with his paws. Fiwa style swordsmanship and dagger killing skills compete. Ding ding ding. The two of them fought for more than 20 seconds at a time. Advertisement. The gunman was the first to be unable to withstand it and quickly retreated. His injured right hand was shaking violently and he could no longer hold the dagger. A large amount of blood leaked from the wound. Joju caught up slowly. The hands were intertwined, as if tearing apart the air, and they were suddenly torn apart on both sides. Mi Guang Fushu. Sharp claw marks flashed in the air. The gunman looked horrified and hurriedly held two daggers in front of him to block. Click. He suddenly felt his hands light up. The two daggers actually broke apart and fell to the ground. The gunman's expression froze for a moment, and the blood on his face quickly disappeared, as if he was in deep despair. Ah, uh, Joju did not take advantage of the situation to kill the gunman. Instead, he retreated more than 10 meters away and let out a chuckle. You think I didn't notice your movements? The gunman's secret movements couldn't help but stagnate. His injured right hand was seen hanging down, as if he could not lift it up, but his palm quietly touched his belt and seemed to be pressed on something. I've realized a long time ago that you are not someone who gives up easily. Joju said calmly, even if you are in a desperate situation, you still have to bite the opponent's flesh. This is your reaction. Despair is too much. Seen through? Completely seen through. The gunman's mood sank to the bottom, and the look of despair on his face disappeared, replaced by expressionless and cold eyes. Not only are you cruel to others, but you are also cruel to yourself. There is a special bomb on his waist. Once triggered, elephants within 10 meters will be blown to pieces. This is also his trump card for dying together. If there is really no hope, use this bomb. Even if you die, you still have to take a big bite of flesh from the opponent. Happy reading during the Qingming Festival outing. Recharge 100 and get 500 VIP points. Grab a deposit now. Activity time, April 4th to April 6th. Advertisement. Chapter 29 Past the Trial, Four Fifths. Advertisement. You look young, but you are extremely cautious in doing things and have rich combat experience. No wonder you are worth 1 million NI. The gunman was silent for a moment, moved his right hand, and spoke in a casual tone. Once the whole card is seen through, it loses its effect. 1 million. Joju raised his eyebrows curiously. Don't you know? The gunman laughed and said, Someone announced the assassination of you to Black Knight Golden Flower, and the amount is 1 million. I am the killer sent by the organization. When the gunman said this, he paused and sighed. With your strength, you should be worth more than 1 million NI. The information is wrong. I just don't know if it's the client's problem or the organization's problem. Vomit? The gunman said, suddenly choked, and spit out dark blood from his mouth. Joju was stunned for a moment and frowned, have you taken poison? Haha, ha, the killer didn't complete the task. There was only one way to die. The gunman looked unconcerned and just said, the client is an intermediary. His name is Cabrati, and he is a broker with a very good reputation. You may be able to pass Cabrati, find the person who wants to kill you. Why are you telling me this? Joju asked patiently. I hope, you can bury my body after my death. The gunman begged. Good. Joju nodded and broke one of his claws with a flick. Call out? He raised his hand and threw out the broken claw. The next moment, the gunman's body shook violently, his eyes widened, and he saw a sharp claw piercing his chest, piercing his heart. He looked at Joju in disbelief and lost his breath. It's obviously a good idea, why? Advertisement. Joju looked at his body expressionlessly. Bang! About five seconds later, the explosive on the gunman's waist suddenly exploded, releasing terrifying heat and shock waves. The ground cracked and houses collapsed. Countless smoke and dust rose up within a range of 20 meters. It turned out that the gunman had triggered the bomb. The so-called collection of corpses is just a trap to lure Joju to him and withstand the explosion of the bomb? The gunman used his own death to set a trap for Joju. After I found out that you are a strong-willed person who will not surrender easily, I made up my mind not to get close to you until you completely died and turned into Chi. Joju looked at this scene calmly, without any fluctuation in his eyes. Sure enough, caution is right. Thank you, you taught me the important caution. Joju bowed slightly to the blazing flames to express his gratitude. The trial passed. Bang. A stream of white air flew out of the flames and penetrated into Joju's body. At the same time, the surroundings suddenly darkened, like the curtain call of a stage play. Joju fell into a semi-dark state again. When he woke up, he had returned to the room of Palladium's house. The surrounding light is bright, the air is filled with delicate fragrance, and the wind and snow are whistling outside the window, but the warm fireplace drives away the cold. Although, Joju is not afraid of the cold. Came back. Joju's expression was slightly disappointed. Advertisement. The intensity of this trial is very low. It can only be said to be a warm-up level. It was done without much effort. Compared with the previous two trials, it seemed too easy. However, if Joju had not practiced persistently during the four months of recharging, and had not refined his sword skills into the orc's claws, he would definitely have suffered a lot in the battle with the gunman. This is equivalent to Joju taking extra classes and mastering higher level knowledge. In other words, his nan hadn't kept up with his growth. It's time to use the oath. Joju nodded. Oaths and restrictions are necessary lessons for Nen. The effect of Nen is like a water pipe with water flowing out. The oath and restriction are the strength of pressing the water pipe. Gently pressing the water pipe will compress the space for the water to flow out, thereby increasing the water pressure, turning the slow water flow into a torrent and shooting out rapidly. The more you compress the space for water to come out, the stronger the water pressure will be and the faster the water will come out. Proper use of oaths and restrictions is a required course for every strong person. I already have the answers to my oaths and restrictions. But now, let's sort out the harvest first. Joju said, starting to sort out the unfamiliar knowledge in his mind. A lot of firearms knowledge emerged. 
Model, origin, price, advantages, and disadvantages. Assembly, maintenance, inspection, modification, purchase. Burst fire, rapid fire, indoor shooting, outdoor shooting, mobile shooting, reloading. Trap layout, use of explosives, use of poison. There is also a complete set of killer training courses, including intelligence gathering, approaching in disguise, killing and leaving the scene, and even corpse disposal. It also includes knowledge on the use of some cold weapons, such as daggers, sabers, gun blades, etc. In addition, it also comes with experience and methods on how to use the internet to access the dark web and how to find the underground world in each city. The killer, Joju sighed in a low voice. Advertisement. From wild dogs, to swordsmen, to killers, the enemies in the trial are getting stronger every time. This time the killer's skills, experience, will, body, are all the pinnacle of ordinary people. As long as he knows the method, the killer himself can awaken then. So next time, he will probably be the enemy of the ninner, right? Joju smiled, with a look of expectation flashing in his eyes. He has been looking forward to fighting the nervous for a long time. In addition, in addition to firearms and killer knowledge, my chi also increased by 0.5, reaching a level of 5.5. Well, the chi hasn't increased much this time. It should be that my strength has exceeded the scope of the trial, and the originally rich harvest seems to be very few. Joju couldn't help but nodded. This makes sense. The next day, Joju borrowed Palladium's computer, checked some things, and said goodbye. He first went to inform Dean Onlay of the news of the 100 million renunciation. Under the other party's firm refusal, he withdrew the 30 million renunciation. Another 70 million will be used to renovate dilapidated orphanages when spring comes. This amount of money is enough to support 10 orphanages for more than 30 years. Dean Onlay plans to build a junior school and recruit people to provide general education for children during the day and literacy teaching for adults at night. Children who leave in the future will be able to get a more respectable job because of their knowledge. For adult classes in the evening, some tuition fees can be charged to raise funds. This plan is very good. And with Palladium there, no outsiders will pay attention to the money. Joju can leave with peace of mind. Happy reading during the Qingming Festival outing? Recharge 100 and get 500 VIP points? Grab a deposit now. Activity time, April 4th to April 6th. Advertisement. Chapter 30, Intercepting the Chi Floating in the World to Form a Trial, 5 fifths. Advertisement. Jerk's House. Joju rummaged through the boxes and found the earth-moving tools that had eaten dust. These are all old things that Jerk hasn't used for a long time. Just right, let me use the waste. Joju flicked it with his fingers, listened to the crisp sound, and nodded with satisfaction. Not bad, it still works. I just don't understand, what are you doing with these things? Jerk looked at Joju to find these things with confusion on his face. I'm a little confused about some things. Joju replied. Such an answer naturally did not satisfy Jerk. No information at all. Complete nonsense. It's up to you. But Jerk didn't bother to ask and turned back to his warm room. It's an old thing that's not being used anyway. It doesn't matter if it's broken. Then I'm welcome. Joju smiled, picked up the shovel, went out and left. It's very windy and snowy outside. There was a thick layer of ice on the ground, there were very few pedestrians, and the shops were not open. In this cold weather, if you take just a few breaths, your mouth and nose will be frostbitten. No one wants to go out. Ta, tap, tap. Joju walked steadily in the cold wind. He only wore a short-sleeved shirt, a thin coat, and no hat or earmuffs. He was walking on the icy streets in this thin attire. The hypothermia didn't hurt him at all. The icy cold wind could only bring him a little chill. This is the benefit of cold resistance. More than an hour later. Advertisement. Joju left the city and came to a village five kilometers to the west that had been abandoned for decades. Swish swish. He knocked the snow off several old houses with his shovel and looked around them. It's like, so similar. Joju looked at one of the thatched cottages and then at the one in the distance with a look of surprise. It's exactly the same as the scene in the trial. This village was abandoned due to an attack by the gloomy deer. Joju was deeply impressed by the pictures provided by Palladium. And the scene in his third trial was actually this village. At the same time, before leaving Palladium's house, he borrowed a computer to enter the dark web and found the golden flower of the night and the broker Kalabadi mentioned by the gunman. That was a killer organization that has disappeared. The scope of business once expanded to the entire country, almost dominating the assassination world. But a civil unrest broke out a decade ago and it collapsed. Kalabadi also died. This is all information that I didn't know originally, but mine knows, why? Joju held the shovel and scanned the surrounding snow. After he identified a location, he started digging. There are three possibilities. First, Minen intercepted a certain period of time and space, made it into a copy, and let me conduct a trial. Second, Minen traveled directly through time and space and sent me to the past. Third, Minen intercepted the floating chi, read some information from it, and fabricated a copy. Joju said while digging hard. The snow was dug up, the ice was chipped, and the soil was turned over. He dug down to a depth of more than two meters. There's none. Advertisement. Joju looked at the empty pit and exhaled. His sword was brought into the third trial, broke during the trial, and was abandoned by him. After the trial, the knife he discarded was not brought back. So, will this knife appear in the real location of the trial scene? Joju was very curious at the time. This deliberately abandoned knife was a test of his own men. There is no knife, but where is the gunman's body? Joju walked towards the place where the gunman died in his memory. He shoveled away the heavy snow, looked at it for a few times, and then shook his head. The gunman triggered a bomb, which destroyed surrounding houses and caused huge cracks in the ground. But at this time, what appeared in front of Joju was, it is an intact house. The second possibility can be ruled out. Travel through time and space and go back to the past. Joju threw the shovel aside and found a clean big stone to sit on. The first possibility is also very unlikely. Only the third one is the correct explanation. Joju pondered. The third possibility, his nun intercepted some information in the chi floating in the world, thus forming a copy. This is consistent with the setting of the hunter world. After a person dies, chi will not absolutely dissipate. If the obsession is enough, chi may turn into resentment after death, becoming very strong and tough, and will not disappear after decades of existence. Some powerful resentments may even exist for hundreds of years. For example, some tombs of ancient kingdoms. 
No matter what, at least I know that the weapons I brought in will disappear in the trial if I don't hold them when I leave. Joju exhaled, which temporarily solved the doubts in his heart. He grabbed a handful of snow, stuffed it into his mouth and drank it as water. Then, his expression became extremely serious. Advertisement. Now let's get to the point, my oath. Joju's thoughts were racing, recalling every bit of time after traveling through time. In the first trial, I overcame my inner fear, defeated the wild dog, and obtained the vicious wild dog. Hunt the alpha wolf and learn to use the power of the orcs from the wolves. After the second trial, he learned to examine himself and acquired the fewa style swordsmanship. Hunting the gloomy deer, merging the swordsmanship with the orc state, creating a swordsmanship using claws, gaining cold resistance, and upgrading the cruel wild dog to the death-chasing wolf. After three trials, I made full use of what I had learned before, stayed cautious, and obtained a complete and detailed knowledge of the killer. Thinking back on this, Joju was surprised to find that the memory of the trial was what he remembered most clearly. Other things passed by in a flash, just like a fleeting glance. It is difficult to leave a mark in his heart. This is me. Joju sighed with a complicated expression. I am very happy to have grown and improved through the trial. This is the life I long for from the bottom of my heart. Even if there is no endless trial, I will take the initiative to embark on a journey to find strong people and fight with them. Endless trials is just a reflection of my inner thoughts. Thinking of this, Joju already understood what kind of oath he should make. His starting point is that endless trials cannot keep up with his progress. He wants more, stronger, and more challenging trials. So after a little analysis, it is not difficult to draw a conclusion. Endless trials is just part of his own trial. Even during the recharging period, Joju will not give up on training himself, and will actively look for prey and hone himself. Thanks to the boss for the silent reward. Happy reading during the Qingming Festival outing? Recharge 100 and get 500 VIP points? Grab a deposit now, activity time, April 4th to April 6th.